Good afternoon, soccer fans, and welcome to the Rochester Rhinos pregame show sponsored by Power Trip. I am Joe Giuliano. Today it's the Rochester Rhinos and the Montreal Impact action coming to you live from Stade Saputo in Montreal, Quebec. 13,000 fans should be on hand for today's game between Rochester and Montreal. Don Stevens will have the kickoff coming up at 3.30. Rochester has definitely struggled in Montreal since 1996. The Rhinos have one win, 17 losses, and two ties. Their only win coming in June of 1998, a 1-0 win. That game was at Claude Robillard Stadium. Rochester's last goal in Montreal coming in 2000, so the Rhinos have their work cut out for them this afternoon. Entering the game, the Rhinos are currently in fifth place, six wins, five losses, and seven ties. They have 25 points. They have gone 6-1-5 and five in their last 12 games. For the home team today, the Montreal Impact, Five wins, eight losses, and four ties, 19 points, and they currently find themselves in last place. Hard to believe a Montreal Impact team could be in last place. All-time series, Montreal has dominated, folks. 24 wins, 13 losses, and six ties. This is the second meeting of the season between Rochester and Montreal, and uh, they played on Friday night at Paytech Park on Fox Soccer Channel. 1-1 the draw. It was the evening of the left-footed goal scorers. Danny Earls opened up the scoring, opening his, opening his scoring account for the Rhinos in the 58th minute. And Leonardo DiLorenzo, beautiful free kick in the 67th minute to make that a 1-1 draw on Friday at Paytech Park. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at your Rochester Rhinos. It's the Rhinos and the impact from the brand-new Stad Saputo. This is the Rochester Reynolds pregame show sponsored by Power Trip on Rochester's Country 107.3 and MyCountryFM.com. Welcome back to the Rochester Reynolds pregame show sponsored by Power Trip. This portion of the show also presented by Free Time Magazine. I'm Joe Giuliano getting ready today for the Montreal Impact and the Rochester Reynolds kickoff coming up at 3.30 p.m. Don Stevens will have all the action from Stad Saputo. As we mentioned earlier, the Rhinos, 6-5-7, and seven, 25 points, currently in fifth place with just one or two games in the USL First Division. There are such major point differences and shifting in the table. It's a very tight race in the USL First Division. With a win today, the Rhinos could move all the way up to second place, but again, a very difficult task ahead in Montreal. Two former Impact players now featuring with the Rochester Rhinos. Unfortunately, one of them is injured. Z. Roberto out with a knee injury. We'll try to get some more details on how serious that injury is. And forward Mauricio Salas leading the way for the Rhinos with four goals and two assists. He has been able to enter Canada after not making the Canadian West Coast trip earlier in the year. So Salas is available for the Rhinos this evening. And again, win tonight. Rochester goes to second place. Four Rochester players selected to the USL Team of the Week. Scott Vallo, defender Danny Earls, who scored his first goal as a Rhino on Friday night, and midfielder Luke Kremelmeyer. If you look back to Friday's game, he had about six or seven excellent crosses in the box. Nobody able to finish them for the Rhinos. And forward Johnny Manyager, also selected to Team of the Week and selected as the Player of the Week in the USL First Division. Manyager with four goals and three assists this year. Hopefully for the Rhinos, a new era begins in Montreal with the opening of Stade Saputo. Montreal and Claude Robillard Stadium, again, not very kind to your Rochester Rhinos. We'll see what happens tonight at the jam-packed Stade Saputo in Montreal, Quebec. When we come back, we're going to take a closer look at tonight's opponents. The Montreal Impact kickoff is at 3.30 p.m. Stick around. This is the Rochester Rhinos pregame show. Sponsored by Power Trip on Rochester's Country 107.3 and MyCountryFM.com. Almost time for some Sunday afternoon soccer, the Rhinos and the Impact. This is the Rochester Rhinos pregame show sponsored by Power Trip. Kickoff 3.30 p.m. from the beautiful brand new Stade Saputo in Montreal, Quebec. A stadium where Montreal currently leading the USL First Division in attendance. Very big number, 12,961 per game at the brand-new Stad Saputo. The results have not gone 
in favor of the Montreal Impact this year. Again, five wins, eight losses, four ties, 19 points. Believe it or not, we have a Montreal Impact team in last place, but they've just won the Neutralite Canadian Championship, and that should give them a ton of confidence heading down the stretch here in the USL First Division. Claude Robillard Stadium was a fortress for Montreal, especially against the Rhino. 17 wins, one loss. And two ties. Defensively and in the midfield, Montreal has played very well. But finishing has been the major downfall for John Lemniotis, who has replaced Nick DeSantis and Peter Pinazzotto as head coach of the Montreal Impact. It's going to be up to the Panamanian international Roberto Brown and the crafty Brazilian Severino Jefferson to break the goal-scoring slump for the Montreal Impact. There are also some injuries as well for Montreal in the midfield and along the defensive line. Midfielder Mauro Biello had wrist surgery on Friday. He'll be out for two weeks. Canadian defender Adam Braz, thigh injury. He is out for three weeks. And former Rhino defender Gabe Gervais has a thigh injury. They're calling that one a game-time decision. So big losses in the midfield and defensively for Montreal. Tonight, it's the second of three matches between Rochester and Montreal. They'll also face each other again at Stade Saputo on September the 3rd. And not sure if you've heard about this, but the Rochester Stampede have planned a bus trip to the game today at Stad Saputo Soccer. Sam will join us in the next segment with an update on the Stampede's trip up to Montreal for the Rhinos and the Impact. Stick around. We'll join Soccer Sam during the next segment. This is the Rochester Rhinos pregame show sponsored by Power Trip on Rochester's Country 107.3 and MyCountryFM.com. The Rhinos return to Paytech Park on Sunday, August 3rd against the Atlanta Silverbacks at 6 p.m. Come and celebrate Rex the Rhinos' birthday with Rex and all his mascot friends. The first 5,000 fans receive a photo of Rex brought to you by Salvatore's Pizza. Get your Wendy's, buy one, get one free ticket voucher at all participating Wendy's locations. Call 454-KICK and get your tickets today. Welcome back to the Rochester Rhinos pregame show sponsored by Power Trip. I am Joe Giuliano. Rochester and Montreal kicking off in about 15 minutes. Don Stevens will have all the action right here on Country 107.3. And Soccer Sam now slides in to join us here. And, uh, folks, if you don't know about the Rochester Stampede, probably some of the most passionate fans you're going to find in U.S. soccer. And they've made a trip up to Montreal to Stade Saputo. Sammy, what a great bunch of fans we have. Uh, any updates on how the trip has gone up to Montreal for the Stampede? Well, Joe, Joe, here, here's some, here's some of the issues here. Uh, the, the, they left at 6 a.m. this morning from Paytech. I met them all there. Um, here's the deal, though. They got there on time, plenty of time. The rivalry continues, Joe. The, uh -oh. They get there. They pretend there's no tickets for them. Now I, I talked to everyone I could talk to there. They they found tickets, but they got them scattered in groups of four throughout the stadium. It's like it's pretty smooth, but they basically are trying to disassemble them so they can't be together as a group. Not real happy about that. I've talked to five different people. Um, I talked to the head of the security. They, you know, Matt Ford's been talking to the security over there to make sure they're safe. But now you got you got them in groups of, of four throughout the stadium. I'm not sure how they're going to be protected uh, from these crazy fans. But the, you know, overall, I, I have confidence that the uh, the people in Montreal take care of. Them. But it, talk about some rivalry moves here. You know, they don't want to to be loud. They don't want to be in charge, so they move them all over the place. Kind of cool, I think. Well, Sam, we know that there's been some history of uh, some confrontations with the ultras there and the, and the stampede, but I really find this absolutely disgraceful by Joey Saputo and his staff to pull something like this. You know, and that's what I said to their, their head guy. I talked to the head uh, box office person. I talked to the head of security. I said, you know, we're in the same league together. We need to work as a unit. I mean, we, these people left at 6 a.m. this morning to come and support their team. We're in the same league. You guys should roll out the royal the red carpet for us like we would do for you. And instead, they're giving them the runaround. They gave them a hard time to get in. I had to get Dave DiBasquale and Andrew Schmidt involved to kind of make sure they got their tickets. It, it's a 
just awful. I mean, I was on the phone so long that Matt Ferris from our office, his cell phone ran out. But uh, I got Alex and Jeremy and Lucas and Adam. They're all kind of keeping the group together. And uh, and Diana, Sarah, Jill, and, and the team from over here and Matt Ford, we're doing our part to make sure that they're safe and they're cool. But it, it's just unfortunate. But it's kind of like that that old school mentality, like you know, old you know, like you know uh, Manchester United and, and Chelsea or whatever. I mean, they think that way. They don't think like, hey, you know, we're in the same league. Let's work together and let's let's make it fun for this this group that came down here. It's just unfortunate. You know, players and coaches sometimes try to make uh, less of what this rivalry is, but uh, I think it brings up the point now that Rochester and Montreal by no means is this situation uh, is, is dead or getting any lessened, is it? No, Joe, and I tell you, fans that are listening right now, you got to listen to this whole game. Don Steve is going to give us reports on what's going on. I, this thing's wild. They claim it's sold out. That's what they told our stampede. They told them that there wasn't any tickets. There were short seven tickets that they were sold out. So I had them try to go scalp, buy some scalp tickets to get the other seven people in. And then I finally got through the head of security, and he was able to find them seven more tickets. But then when they got the tickets at the, the – they present it to them. They realize that they're all in different sections. So, yes, the rivalry continues. And, Joe, the other night you said something about Leonardo Di Lorenzo. Uh, I was just checking something out about this kid. His first ever goal was against the Rhinos in 2006. So this kid could be on fire against us. It's like you look at the history of guys that score against us or, or uh, teams that we score with. I mean, it's just it's sometimes going to happen. So they got to mark this kid tough tonight, I think. There's one way to stop him, Sam. You know what you do? You sign him as a member of the Rhinos. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think uh, they're going to let him go. That's one of the guys that uh, that Nick DeSantis went to Argentina and scouted back in, I think, 2005 when he was on that whole Argentina trip. I mean, the players in Argentina at the time were available. They weren't that expensive. I think he picked up four at the time. He's one of those uh, those uh, jewels that he found. But, uh, hey, I'm looking forward tonight. Danny the Duke of Earls, this kid got his first goal the other night. I got a feeling he's going to light up tonight. I hope so, Soccer Sam. Thanks for joining us, and keep us updated on the Stampede. Hopefully everything stays uh, safe up in Montreal. We hope so, Joe. I'll talk to you on the post-game show with updates. All right, Soccer Sam joining us here on the Rochester Rhinos pregame show, sponsored by Power Trip on Rochester's Country 107.3 and MyCountryFM.com. Welcome back to the final segment of the Rochester Rhinos pregame show, sponsored by Power Trip. The Rhinos in Montreal kicking off in about 10 minutes. Two other games in the USL First Division today, Atlanta at Miami, 6 p.m. kickoff, Puerto Rico at Minnesota. They're kicking off at 10 p.m. Switching gears and looking at uh, some news and notes from the entire world of soccer, Freddie Adu will move from Portugal's Benfica to play with the French League team Monaco starting next season. And American goalkeeper Brad Friedel has left the Blackburn Rovers. He will join Aston Villa. On a three-year deal, the 37-year-old Friedel leaves Blackburn just one day after Rovers signed former English national keeper Paul Robinson. And Brian McBride will be joining the Chicago Fire after all. Toronto FC has agreed in principle to a trade. The 36-year-old McBride spent the last four years with Fulham of the English Premier League. And Steve Nash, the NBA superstar and brother of former Rhino Martin Nash, is reportedly joining forces with the current owner of the Vancouver Whitecaps in a bid to buy a MLS franchise. Vancouver hopes to join the league in 2011 along with Montreal. MLS franchise fee will cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 million. That'll do it for the pregame show. We'll talk to you on the postgame show following Rochester and Montreal. The number to call is 222-4369. You have been listening to the Rochester Rhinos pregame show sponsored by Power Trip on Rochester's Country 107.3 and MyCountryFM.com. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another afternoon of soccer, Rochester Rhinos style at Stad Saputo, our first visit ever to this beautiful facility. And uh, what a great facility it is. Glad to have you folks along as the Rhinos meet the Montreal Impact. Second game in, uh, in uh, three days between the two teams. And, of course, Friday night they ended up in a one-goal draw at Paytag Park in Rochester. And uh, Rochester still looking for his first win, it seems like, ever here in Montreal. We'll try and see what they can do this afternoon against the Montreal Impact, a team that has been somewhat struggling this year along with the uh, Rhinos. But both teams actually have played very well, just neither team winning all that often. 
Well, this is uh, the 19th match of the season for the Rhinos, the 18th for Montreal. So the Impact do have one game in hand on Rochester. And uh, Montreal with an opportunity of moving up in the standings as this afternoon. Uh, uh, coming into this one, they're just one point behind Miami and Minnesota for ninth. Only two points behind Atlanta and Carolina for seventh. So they can move from last place all the way up to uh, sixth place in the uh, league with a win here this afternoon. The Rhinos have, uh, because of uh, no action last night, dropped back a couple of notches. Now into the fifth spot in the uh, first division table. One point only behind Seattle, two behind Puerto Rico. So the Rhinos could actually move into a tie with Van. Cooper for second in the league with a win here this afternoon. A lot is on the table here today. Well, let's hear from the coach, Darren Tilly. Coach's interview brought to you by the Ferris Group. The best seat in the house is in your Ferris apartment. See them all at Ferris.com. And the Rhinos coming away with a one-goal draw against Montreal last game. Played actually not a great first half, a much better second half, and I asked Coach Tilly about that. I think Montreal's game plan was to stifle us, to, to slow us down, not allow us to get at them. Uh, which we knew going in because of their schedule, knew they'd have tire legs, but they did it tremendously well. And I thought at the time there were a few players that, uh, uh, that, that bought into them and, and really didn't want to put their name on, on the game. Now, as you went uh, from first half to second half, you did make a change at halftime and brought uh, Delicat in. Uh, a size thing, or are you trying to get more size up front or what? No, I wanted to go at their back four a little bit more. Um, so to, to do that, we had to take someone out of midfield. Um, that allowed them a few more chances going forward, and certainly when they brought on David Testo, they, they controlled it, I thought, for a, for a good 10, 15 minute stage. But uh, come the last 10, 15 minutes of the game, I thought we were in a position where we could have, should have scored to, to win the game. Uh, the pressure, is that the key to maybe beating this team? I think so, is, is, is with their group at the moment because of their schedule, um, because of, of, of all the trials and tribulations they've gone through. I think if, if you're willing to get at them, if you're, if, you, if you're players that can make a difference, you're willing to, to give it their best effort. Uh, if you do pressure them and press them in the right areas at the correct times, then, then you have an opportunity to, to gain some sort of success. Ordinarily, you'll find that the team that's on top of the table is the one that's given up the fewest number of goals. But Montreal, they're in the basement right now. They've given up uh, the, almost the fewest number of goals. It's a strange situation, isn't it? It is, but they, they do have a, a, a very solid defense. And uh, granted, they haven't scored as many as I'm sure they would have liked to. Um, but defensively, they, they've been they've been good. Is, is it a fair is it a fair assessment of where they are in the league? That's argumentative, and, and uh, as you know. A couple of a couple of wins continue to the top, and a few losses continue to the bottom. Yeah, it's just like yourself, even sitting without playing a night, and, and you go from what second to fifth or whatever. Yeah, it is, I mean, I, I, I've said uh, 20 games is a good judgment. I, I may have to, to to rethink that one because of the tightness of the league. Uh, it's, it's a strange league this year, and, and maybe it's down to schedules, but I, I still think that the, the quality teams will come to the top. Your injury situations, they were Roberto missed last game. Any change there? Any other injuries? No, he's still two to three weeks away, and, and that's unfortunate for us because he's been playing tremendously well. I and mean, we do have some, some small injuries, which, which is understandable this stage of the season, but nothing that, that players can and won't play through. From what you saw last game, do you change your strategies much for this one? Um, I don't think so. I think we're in a position at the moment where um, our, our style of play and our manner really doesn't dictate us trying to change for the opposition uh, and certainly as I said if, if our big players step up and are ready to, to give their best effort then, then I think we, we can get some success here and some points you expect Montreal to try and do anything different against you? Um, that I'm not sure about I think being at home there, there's always the uh, the need and the want to, to be a bit more forward thinking um, but certainly this is their third game in less than a week and I'm sure they have tired legs as well and, you, know, you, you like to think that uh, people understand that but, but certainly being a home team, they need and there's a desire, I'm sure, for them to come out and, and try to go at us. Darren Tilly, the coach of the Rhinos. This one about to get underway from Stan Saputo in Montreal. The Rhinos and the Impact. And this is the Rhinos Broadcast Network. National Anthems here at Stan Saputo. It's the first visit for the Rhinos to this gorgeous facility. And, boy, have they done a nice job here in this stadium. It is beautiful. It's very well done. A tremendous facility, and congratulations to uh, Joey Saputo and the rest of the Impact organization for putting together uh, probably the facility, the uh, premier facility here in the uh, in the uh, USL First Division. It is a gorgeous place, very nicely done. The pitch looks perfect. 
as uh, it is a grass surface and uh, just about absolutely perfect like it's been manicured. And it's a gorgeous setting. Beautiful afternoon. Uh, right now, looking at the stands, mostly full on the near side. Uh, across the way, about, uh, I'd call it about uh, seven-eighths full on the far side. The end zone down to my left is only about half full, but there's a lot of people in the uh, tents down to my right. As you look down to my right and out over the end of the field, there's the uh, Olympic Stadium and what was the, uh, the uh, velodrome. Uh, from the Olympics and a few other of the Olympic facilities are off to one side. Let's check the starting lineups brought to you by North Nigger Realtors, Rochester's full service realtor. In goal for the Montreal Impact is Matt Jordan, as he played the other night also. Now a 5 7 and 4 record, a 0.81 goals against average. The defenders will include Cedric Yacoviel and Nevio Pisolito, Stefano Pasoli, and uh, Simon Gotti. And in the midfield, Patrick Leduc, David Testo. Leonardo De Lorenzo and Joey Jerson up front. Severino Jefferson and Roberto Brown. That's the starters for the uh, Montreal Impact. I do see as they're making a presentation out in the middle of the field. They do see Mauro Biello, who just had uh, surgery on his wrist, is out in a suit and uh, making presentation of the awards out here on the field. All right, for the Rhinos, starting out in goal, Scott Bello. And Vallow comes into this one with a 6-5-7 and seven record, a 0.94 goals against average. He's played them all this season. Vallow still in goal. The defenders will be the uh, same as last game. Danny Earls, Ross Smith, Scott Palguda, and John Ball through the midfield. Luke Krummelmeyer, Alfonso Loera, Tiger Fitzpatrick, and Andrew Gregor. And up front will be Johnny Benyonger and Matthew Delicott. Getting the start, Delicott in uh, place of Mauricio Salas here in the starting role for this one. The uh, Rhinos wearing the uh, black uniform with the green stripes. Uh, still, I think, one of the best-looking uniforms in the league. I, I love that uniform. It's outstanding. And uh, down to uh, my right will be the home side, the Montreal Impact. Uh, white uniform with the blue num- numbers and trim. And uh, still, they make the uh, presentations out at uh, the center of the field. Looking down to my left, they're holding a big sign up. Uh, can't quite read it. Something 1993. On a big banner covering the stands down to my left, but a very festive atmosphere and a great facility it is here in Montreal. Certainly uh, uh, to be a part of the class of the league in the USL First Division. Now these two teams went at it just a couple of nights ago in Rochester, and it came away in a uh, one-goal uh, draw between the two teams. Rochester finally scoring in the 58th, but then the impact coming back in the 67th to Turn it into a draw and even things up. And so Rochester still looking for a win here in Montreal. Actually, first of all, looking for a goal here in Montreal. If they could come up with just a goal, it would be one thing. And uh, Rochester is uh, now unbeaten, however, against Montreal in the last two games. The last game of the regular season last year, a victory. And the last the game they played was Friday, and that ended up in a dry. So a 1-0-1 one, oh, one record between uh, Rochester, or for Rochester against Montreal in the last two times they've met. Let you go back further. Only one win in the last 15 games against Montreal. A win, 12 losses, two ties in Montreal. That's, uh, again, 1-12-2 and two in Montreal. If you want to include the playoffs, only one win in the last 19. A win, 14 losses and four ties. And the last win here in Montreal was back in September 19th of 98, a 3-2 shootout win in the playoffs. And here's the good part. The Rhinos have not scored a goal in their last 16 games in Montreal. That's back to the year 2000, in which they did lose that game also, a 3-1 to loss. And again, have not scored in uh, somewhere around 16 games here in Montreal. They're set for the kickoff. The Rhinos will be taking the kickoff. And uh, shooting at the left to our left as the ball is put in play. And here we go in this one this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Foul good along up the left wing side. One hop inside the 18 and grabbed there by Jordan. Increased collision last game. And uh, ended up with, I heard about six stitches up around the forehead area in that collision. He did continue with the game, but uh, needed stitches afterward. As now he'll uh, send the half-volley kick out through midfield, coming down Rhino 35. That's nodded as a foul is called on, uh, on the... On the impact and the foul against Jefferson, so it'll be a free kick for the Rhinos starting at about their 35. Just getting going in this one. Still in the first minute and just underway as Vallow moves out to take the kick. 
Right foot a kicker. Vano again has played them all this season. A 6-5-7 and seven record. A 0.94 goals against average. And Vano will flight a long one downfield. Who around the 25. Flick on by Delicott. But turned out the right wing side. And Kremlmeyer moves down to the corner. Being chased and tied up there. Drops it back for Ball. Has a 35 yards out. Tried to sneak it through. But Testo steps in to get the left foot on it. Intercepts. Has blocked away and turned by Kremlmeyer. The Rhinos have it back. Spinning around Ben Younger with the ball. Turns along the 18. Has a left foot side out of the 20. Drops it. Tiger with a left footer. But puts it way wide. Shanked about the outside side of his left boot, and way out over the end line, so it'll be a goal kick for the impact. Montreal goal kick, the impact, heavily out shooting Rochester last game, 16 uh, to f- uh, 4, no, make that 14 to 6, 14 to 6, that Montreal outshot the Rhinos, and in fact, Jordan was not even credited with a save in that match, so the Rhinos might have had six shots, but none on goal. Not a good showing there. And the ball across midfield. Headed turn upfield by Loera. However, that's spun out of bounds on the right wing side. So a throw in for the impact from their own 35 on the near side. To be taken by Gotti. Throw in on the left wing. Goes short, but that right into the uh, foot of John Ball. Carried forward. And Menyonger in the middle for Delicata at the 20. And a give and go back in front. And moving in, but it's tackled away. However, the whistle is blown offside against the Rhinos. Rochester offside. Still no score. Early stages of this one, just the third minute. And a great crowd on hand. I'd call it overall about uh, 80% full at this point, maybe close to 90%. The only uh, opening might be at the stands down to my left. The end zone stands in behind the goal, which Scott Dallow's in here in the first half. Headed upfield to midfield by Smith and recovered by the impact. On the near side, DiLorenzo, who did the damage for the impact last game, drives it down deep on the left wing corner, and it's through and all the way out over the end line. A goal kick for the Rhinos. Rochester goal kick. Rallo will place the ball at his six. Goes short out the near side for Ball. Will carry it up the right wing side, brings it away. Ball with the right foot, drives it downfield, and that uh, one got away from Delicott, spun away, and then out of bounds, so it'll be a throw-in for the impact from their own 18, uh, 20 yards on the near side. Be taken once again by Gotti on the throw-in. A little looping throw-in ahead this time off the chest of Brown. He looks at it, now is able to bike it back across midfield, and underneath it, Jefferson lays it off toward the center circle, getting to it, Smith. We'll bang it down into Montreal territory. It's played aside by Pisoledo. Off of the far wing and up the right wing side. Stepping into intercept. Earls will bring it away. Then turns back as he leaves it along his 35. Drops it off. And uh, Gregor will give it to Tiger back to the outside. Andrew Gregor return pass into the middle for Tiger Fitzpatrick. At midfield, challenged and taken down from behind by Brown. And the foul is called. And the Rhinos with the restart at midfield. Tiger quickly up the left wing side. That's blocked down, but... Unable to control his breaker and is taken back by the impact. Testo on the right wing. Approaching midfield. Tackled away nicely by Tiger. However, he got a piece of the uh, player, so the foul is called. A free kick for Montreal just to their own side of midfield. On the 35 in the middle. Pesolito looks back to the right wing side. Tried to play it away, but blocked by Delicott. Got a foot on it. Knocked the ball down. It rolls out of the far side. And Yocavial will take it for the throw in. A couple of former Rhinos that are not playing in this game. They include uh, Mauro Piallo, as I told you, had an injury uh, and a surgery on a wrist. And uh, I did see Gabe Gervais out running before the game. He's not dressed for the game, however. He's recovering from an injury. Also, Pato Aguilera, who played last game, and uh, is, not, uh, is not starting this one. He is dressed for the game. Ball lays it back to the keeper. Vallo out at his 10. First time is it away. Out through midfield. Delicott up. As header as he's taken down. The ball picked up in the center circle by LaDuke. Across midfield, Brown, return pass. LeDuc to the outside of the left wing for DiLorenzo. Turns back toward the middle as he's watched by Kremlmeyer. He'll drop it to his own side of midfield. Gotti off of the middle and is chased down there by Pasoli. Off to Pisolino. And on the right side, begins to work upfield again. Across midfield into Rhino territory. One touch to the outside by Jertsen. And on the wing, played deep in the Rhino corner, but in behind the play is Jefferson and offside against the impact. Montreal offside. Rhinos have a free kick from their own 35. Six minute no score. First half here at Stad Saputo. Flags flying across the way. Wind blowing from right to left into the face of Vallo. Vallo will play it out on the near side, but that one bends in behind ball and out of bounds. So a turnover for the Rhinos and Montreal with an impact in midfield. On the near side. De Lorenzo to Gotti. Pass along the midfield line for Testo. Came in as a replacement last game, but gets the starting nine here in this one. Locked off, center circle getting to it. Delicott, one touch to the outside, and Gregor running onto the ball. On the far touch line, 
As he's watched closely by Yuka Vial, goes to the corner and overlapping Earls. Across, along the six in front, but Pisolino gets to it to hand it out over the end line. A corner kick for the Rhinos. Rochester corner. He'll be taken off the right wing side. Luke Krummelmeyer will move over to take the corner kick. Seventh minute now, no score. Well, they handed out the the uh, thunder sticks. Here it uh, starts a Puto today, and the noisy fans enjoying them. There's the corner kick off the left wing side, an in swinger from Krummelmeyer. Service down in the box, in the middle, headed away, and out top. And to the far corner is Krimmelmeyer again to dig it out. Has it now 25 yards out. Turns back, looks, sneaks it to the outside. Moving up, Gregor with a shot in a goal. A short post. The near post is grabbed by Jordan. There's Gregor, a nice idea, trying to catch Jordan, cheating away from the post, but Jordan makes the stop. Well, the Rhinos with a shot. Jordan finally will be credited with a save this season against the Rhinos. That's played back. Testo drops it off. It is 35. Carried forward. Pisolito out across midfield. Palguda gets to it for the Rhinos. His tip forward, but Menyunger couldn't reach it. Pisolito turns back. He'll lay it off into the middle. Longest 20. Taken by Pasoli. With the right foot. Floats it out through midfield. Stepping up. Palguda heads it high in the air. Coming down center circle. Loera back. One touch on the outside of the near wing. It's picked up at the midfield line by Kermelmeyer. Drops it back for Ball. Turns forward to get away from Leduc. Tackle attempt with the ball blocked away. Ball has it again to the outside. Kremlmeyer. One touch toward the middle for Loera. 35 yards out. Look for the cross in front, but that's blocked away. And the ball spun out into midfield. Loera steps back. Tips it off. Down to his defender. Ball on the right wing side. Carries it along the near wing. Approaching midfield. All right, it's closely by DiLorenzo. Pass up field. And a flick forward by Delicott to the near wing as it bounces and rolls and finally rolls out. Throw in for Montreal from their own 25 on the near side. There's a high looping throw in out toward midfield. Ball heads it off toward the middle but blocked away. Center circle now carried off by the impact. Turn to the outside on the right wing. Carried for it. Pass back in the middle but trading the play. Gregor comes back and steals it right back. Rhinos have it. Gives it off to Danny Earls. Who scored Rochester's only goal Friday night. Works the left wing side. Out toward midfield. Drive Gregor back along his 35. Palguda switching to the right wing side. The near side of the field. We're into the ninth minute. No score. On the near wing ball. To Loera. Return pass to ball. On the near side. Right foots it out through midfield. And however he bent it out of bounds and back in. So ball is out. Throw in at midfield for Montreal. Got he. That's a return. Pass toward the middle, tip to the outside, and Gotti moving up the left wing, being chased down by Ross Smith. On the left wing side, across, down along the 10, but Earls is there to flick it away out of the box. And Gregor with it, will first time it out into the center circle. And Younger settles it off the right toe, brings it away, turns to get away from Pasoli. Drops it back, over the ball deflected aside, and recovered again by Montreal. Impact on the right side, feeding it through, and Ross Smith steps in to head it away. Taken back by Testo, 35 yards out, drops it off in the middle. And taking a look at it, DeLorenzo will then flip it down inside, but that's knocked away over Testo again. A roller in, but three or four feet wide of the right post out over the end line. A goal kick for the Rhinos. Sponsors of these broadcasts include RITN, everything you need to be perfectly comfortable. And by Salvatore's, they deliver everything but babies. All placed at the 6 by Vallo. Rhinos at home next Sunday against the Atlanta Silverbacks. First look at Atlanta this season as the Silverbacks come to town. Kickoff time 6.05 next Sunday. On the left wing side, Earls, 35 yards in his own end. Drops it back in the middle. Pass ahead, Palguda for Loera. Again to the outside for Earls. Has it along the left wing and a chip downfield. After Delicott able to flick it forward to the corner. Pisolito and Delicott for the race for the ball to the end line. Delicott gets across in front, but is blocked away by Pasoli. And then he'll play it away out of the box. Drop back Leduc once again. And now crossed off on the near side. As is picked up, De Lorenzo out to near midfield. Ball steps in underneath it. Off the left foot, draws it forward. Then turns it to the outside of the right wing for Kremlmeyer. 25 yards out. Roll on the 18. And Younger is there, but the ball is tipped away from him. And carried off by the impact. Leduc in the middle. To the outside on the right wing, brought forward. Out across midfield. Jertsen passed toward the middle. Brown went touch to the outside again. There it's drawn away, and they pass up the wing into the far end of the box. Blocked away by Loera. Gets to it, beating Jertsen to the ball. He tried to clear it aside, however, is over the end line. A corner kick for Montreal. 
Impact corner, 11th minute, no score here at Stad Saputo. DeLorenzo moving over with the corner kick. He's the one again that scored the game tying goal on Friday night. Left footed kicker and in swinger. Just a perfect afternoon for soccer here in Montreal. High for the back post, headed back in the middle. Knotted away by Gregor out to the 18. Testa will knot it aside. And taken again by the impact. Turn to the outside of the near wing and moving up is Gotti. Goes to the outside of the left wing. And a cross down inside, up in the air to haul it down on his three is Vallo. On that cross by Pisolito, who is in deep. So the Rhinos, Vallo ahead, Kremlmeyer. Being challenged at his own 35 by Gotti. Looks for an opening, carries it laterally, and then drops it off on the left wing side for Earls. He'll push it out toward midfield for Gregor. Drops it back for Earls once again. Yeah, feed it off into the middle. Tiger to the outside of midfield. Andrew Gregor right back to Tiger in the center circle for Loera. And he's bumped and dumped from behind, so the whistle blows. A foul is called, and the Rhinos will have a restart at the midfield line. Loera is slow getting up. And the fans with a few jeers, uh, kind of a minor bump, but he's taking his time getting up. 13th minute and no score here in Montreal. And this is the one uh, first of two times that the Rhinos will play here. Not sure now when the second game is going to be. Supposed to be September 3rd, but that probably will be changed. The pass up the wing by Tiger, but blocked away. On the wing, Brown back as he's bothered there by Palguda, and still the ball is controlled by Montreal. A feed off of the middle for Testo. Rolls it ahead, center circle for Jensen. Here come the impact on the attack. Blocked away, nice tackle. High ball, and the ball recovered by the uh, by the Rhinos. On the far wing, dropped off at midfield. Gregor pass along the midfield line for Tiger. Turns back then to the outside again for Andrew Gregor. He'll roll it up the left wing and Menyonger after, but it's tackled away by Testo to the outside and carried forward by Jefferson. Montreal on the attack. To the outside on the right wing. Running on the ball deep on the end line. Here's a crossing foot blocked away out over the end line by Palguda as De Lorenzo tried to make the cross. Corner kick once again for Montreal. This will be off the right wing side again. It'll be De Lorenzo, a left footed kicker and in swinger. Now the 14th minute and no score. Service. Low in the box, coming down about in the middle and blocked away. And a uh, foul was called as dumped in uh, the uh, box was delicate. So a foul was called. The Rhinos have a free kick. Well, congratulations to the impact on. Winning the uh, Canadian Championship, a one-all uh, draw against Toronto, gave them enough to go through in the Neutralite Canadian Championship. And now they'll join in the CONCACAF Championships and and uh, be playing against uh, a team from Nicaragua. It's a great job there. And that means the possibility of the change of the date of September the 3rd on the other game to be played here. Restart for Montreal, their own side of midfield. Testo will leave it there. So some juggling as the Montreal Impact will have a few extra games to play this year. But that's outstanding. Great for them. As they came out on top with uh, Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver. Right footer down into Rhino territory. That one headed back toward the middle. Lower in underneath it. Locks it forward. Then he'll boot it out to the center circle for Dalakot. Looks upfield. Draws it forward. A hit from Manyonger. Tapping it to the outside for Gregor. As he pops it up in the air underneath it. Able to nod it back to Danny Earl. So long as 35. Earl's carrying it forward. Feet ahead for Tiger. Well, the Rhinos trying to slow it up, play deliberate at the moment. As they'll drop it back to Palguda again along his 35. Turns it to the outside for Earls. He'll attack midfield and draws it back into his own side uh, to the 35 once again for Palguda. Long switch off on the near wing. Running in underneath it. Ball hits it forward for Loera. He'll tip it the rest of the way downfield. Ball slotted through, but all the way down to the box where it's grabbed by the keeper, Jordan. Any for the players to move away. 16th minute, no score. Drops the ball at his 18. Right-footed kick through midfield. Smith up, up the back of Brown, but he came down and didn't get the ball. He came down hard and awkwardly on a, looked like maybe on his knee, and he's slow getting up as the ball is kicked across midfield and out. Smith is up and seems to be all right now. But he did come down hard. He went up the back of the 
of uh, Brown. Play went on as the ball was uh, then picked up by Montreal. All right, now the Rhinos have the throw in on the near side. Ball will take the throw in. Goes deep down to the end, uh, to the uh, near corner of the box. And Younger trying to get a foot on it. That's and uh, booted away off into the middle on the 35 and carried forward by the impact. Jerks and into the center circle. Looking to slot it through for Jefferson and does. Making the run brown. Jefferson turned back by Loera. To the outside, Jerkson. As he sneaks by the tackle of Earls and rolls down deep to the end line in the far corner. Takes a look. Left footed cross down inside. Knocked down to the end line and a goal to block out over the end line. So the impact get close. A couple of feet away from the back post, but put it out over the end line. 17th minute, no score. Other sponsors of these broadcasts include Paytech, personalizing personal communications. Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield, helping you achieve your goals. And by Zweigel's, the official hot dog at Paytech Park. Ball flighted by Vallow through midfield. Headed in the air, and then underneath it, Gregor. Puts it up the left wing side for Ben Younger. A little stutter step comes away. Rolls it to the right side, moving in. Krummelmeyer stops the ball. Tried to go back to the left foot. He stumbled and went down. And the ball carried away. Krummelmeyer might have twisted his right ankle. Gets up hobbling. And the ball now carried forward by Montreal out to near midfield. De Lorenzo at the midfield line. Left footer all the way down. A couple of bounces. Inside the 18 was grabbed by Vallo. And the rhino keeper has the ball. Krummelmeyer seems to be walking all right now. He tried to turn back to the left foot side. However, it looked like maybe he twisted the ankle and went down. Otherwise, an opportunity, a golden opportunity for the Rhinos. Earls chips it up the left wing side across midfield for Manyonger along the far touch line. Drops it back on a give and go. But uh, Manyonger did not make the run on the return pass from Gregor. And the ball rolls harmlessly down deep into the corner. On the far side, throw in. Or the impact from the wrong 15. 18th minute, no score from Stad Saputo. Off in the middle, in underneath it. Earls will lay it off and carried forward by Loera. Turns it to the outside of the right wing. Ball moving up on the play. Well, then send one down inside the 18. Delicata in behind. However, that's headed away by, uh, by uh, I think that's Pasoli in the whistle to stop play. So we'll have a restart for Montreal. Yes, I believe the Rhinos were offside and a restart. On their own uh, 18 by the impact. Warm evening, nice or uh, warm afternoon, nice breeze. Blowing again from right to left. Just a perfect afternoon for soccer here in Montreal. I guess they've had some rain in the last few games they've played, so they were pretty happy about the weather today. And underneath it, Smith heads it aside off of the far wing, chased down by Brown, and now feet up deep in the corner for Jefferson. Right wing side to the end line. Stops the ball to keep it in play. Watch there by Falgoda. Jefferson turns it out to the 18. Testo tips to the outside. And a feed down inside, but flighted over top of everybody and out over the end line. Another goal kick for the Rhinos. 19th minute, no score. Big scoreboard down to my left. The big scoreboard at the one end of the field. And a great picture on that scoreboard. Outstanding. Here's Vallow with the right foot. Drives it out through midfield. Delicott able for the uh, get up for the flick on, but it's headed away. Then Delicott in underneath it again. Heads it in the air. This time Testa will nod it aside. And the Testa was called on the foul for moving in underneath Delicott. And the Rhinos will have the restart. Just across the midfield line into Montreal territory, which is to my right here in the first half. Loera sets the ball. Now the ref says back it up. The official center ref is Dominic Scully. His assistants, Isaac Raymond and Pierre Conte. And the fourth is Philippe Briere. Pass right up the middle to Men Younger. Turns back, right foot side. Oh, he just missed the crossbar. Oh, spin around, move. He picks it out of midair as he popped it up in the air. Picked it out of midair on the right foot. A side volley kick, and it came down, but only about six inches over top of the crossbar. Great shot by Men Younger. Oh, so close. So now a goal kick for the impact. Watching Lemiatis, coach of the impact up in, uh, not sure who he is talking to, perhaps the fourth official, but didn't seem to be too pleased about something. That's headed back through midfield. Then down in, uh, a couple of bounces, headed back to the keeper. Jordan takes it on the first hop and throws it out the near side for Gotti. 
Off the left wing and a pass in, stepping into intercept ball. But popped up in the air, taken back again by Montreal. LeDuc pass forward to Testo, dropping it back once again for LeDuc. Through the center circle, off on the right wing side, carried forward. Off the right wing and ahead to the outside for Jertsen, drops it back. And uh, spinning around, you're going to be out into the center circle, will left foot it forward. After DiLorenzo, one touch to the outside of the near wing for Gotti. Turns back again. His pass forward, but taken away, and now hammered out through uh, midfield into Montreal territory by Smith, but he shanked it out of bounds, so it'll be a throw in on the near side. Impact, throw in from their own 30, they make that about 45. Linesman says to Gotti, nope, back up here. Goes short on the throw in to LeDuc. Turning and look around. LeDuc still has it. Being pressured, drops it back down to the keeper. Delhi chasing, but it's inside the box now. First timing it away is Jordan. Out through midfield. Earl's back for the Rhinos to head it forward. That's blocked by Testo off the chest. Settles the defeat. Turns as he's being bothered from behind by Fitzpatrick. Testo still with it. Left-footed kick. Switching to the outside of the near wing for DiLorenzo. Off the left wing side. Turns back to the right foot side as he stops to get away from Cronenmeyer. Being down inside. Picked out of midair and booted out near midfield by Paguda. Lock forward, and Delicott coming back will take it away. But and then, in turn, he's blocked away from him, and moving in, now oh, offside, as Brown in behind. He spun around, took it on the left foot, took the shot, but the offside flag was in the air. Offside against the impact. Dallow, now to set the ball, 23rd minute. And scoreless between the Rhinos and the Impact. Last game, the first goal wasn't scored until the 57th minute. And the Rhinos took the lead, but Montreal answered. And that was 58th minute, and Montreal answered the 67th. Long kick downfield. Headed back into the center circle. Lower in underneath it. Tries to uh, play it aside. However, coming in on him was uh, Testo, and the ball blocked away, and a foul is called. So the Rhinos have a restart to the center circle. Smith sets the ball. Falguda will play it aside off of the near wing. The ball up the right side of the near touch for Krummelmeyer. One tip ahead for Menjonger. Turns it to the outside along the near touch line. As he sneaks the ball through, ball moving in but couldn't reach it. And it's carried away by the impact. The Duke into the middle. Long as 35. Watch closely. Now turns it up the near wing for DiLorenzo. Ball trying to get back and does. Catches up to him. As they battle for the ball on the near wing, DiLorenzo will spin it toward the middle on the give and go, and back to the outside and up the left wing, deep to the corner as they Lorenzo. His cross for the back post side, locked down at the far corner. Turning is he'll get out, trying to get a shot away, but can't. And Loera taken down by Jefferson in the box. Play goes on. Out top, shot from 25, left footer. It's cranked up over top of the net. Nice shot taken. Who is that, Leduc? Got a boomer of a left foot away, but puts it high. So the goal kick for the Rhinos. Other sponsors of these broadcasts include Power Trip. Get in the game. Buy the World Gym. Real gym. Real people. Real results. And by Auction Direct. For your next car, log on to auctiondirect.com. Dano sets the ball with the right foot, drives it out through midfield. Up they go. It's flicked for by Delicott. But in underneath it is Pasoli to bang it the other way into Rhino territory. Headed away by Palguda to the center circle. Loera has it. Drops it off for Earls. He's challenged there. He'll have to hustle and now pops a high one up in the air and across midfield. On the far wing, bouncing ball comes down to midfield. Turning back for Jertsen. Drops it off. Ben Younger stepping in, able to tip it aside. Up the left wing, carries it away. And he has tackled ball now. Gregor to the end line. Ben Younger in underneath it. He's looking for a cross in front, but the ball blocked out over the end line. Corner kick for the Rhinos. Rochester corner. This will be off the left wing side. Carmel Meyer once again makes his way across the field. He'll kick off the left wing side, a right footed kicker, so an in swinging kick. Set to serve it up. Luke Carmel Meyer should have had an assist on that goal last game. Sends it down for the near post. Punched away by Jordan on top. Coming down to the 20 and underneath the Tiger. 
Can't get a shot away as he's bothered. Now left foots it to the outside of the far wing again. At the far end of the box. Crumbleyer turning back to the ball at the end line. As he's bothered there, can now he spins with the right foot, feet down in front. Palguda gets the left foot on it, knocks it down, blocked the side again on the far boards, and a far away into the box. And now as Palguda tackles, the ball takes a player down also, and a foul is called. The Rhinos get down in the box, couldn't get a shot on the frame. Jordan setting the ball out of his 18. Now the 27th minute, no score. And officially, I have the Rhinos with three shots and Montreal with two. Right footer out through midfield by Jordan. That's flick four, but Earl's on the back end of the flick. He'll come away with it, feeds it out to midfield. Gregor up the wing for Ben Younger, but stepping in, that's blocked away by Pisolito and into Rhino territory. Turning back forward once again is Smith. And the uh, whistle to stop play. Down evidently called on the Rhinos. It'll be a free kick for Montreal from their own... Or from the Rochester 40 on the far side. And I do see some of the Rochester players are up warming up now. Coach Tilly getting his players up warming up. On the restart. Ball brought away. Montreal to the outside of the near wing. Gotti heads it up the wing for DiLorenzo. Turning back for the ball. Being chased there by Ball. Spins back to the near side. And his pass in for Gotti. Tried to turn him behind. But Krummelmeyer intercepts. Carries it away. Gives it off the ball at the near touch. He's run over from behind in a collision. And uh, the center ref quickly to get in between Ball and Gotti. And it'll be a foul called on Gotti and restart. Now Gotti is going to draw the yellow card in the 28th minute. 28th minute, first card of the night, or the day, I guess. So we used to say night. Beautiful afternoon, gorgeous day in a tremendous stadium. Ball looks downfield for the players to get in position. All right, the ref now gives the indication, and here's Ball setting and serves it all the way down to the 18. Delicott looking for the flick forward. Then Younger in behind, spins the ball up in the air, but headed to the end line. Jordan now leaps on it, hauls it down, and keeps it in play. Delicott figured it was out over the end line, but doesn't get the call of the ball. He's volleyed out through midfield. Palguda stepping up, tangling with Brown, and the loose ball is carried forward by Earls. Center circle for Loera, one touch through midfield, and now Loera tackled and taken down as Testo. Game in, cleats first, and he might get a yellow card. Yes, it looks like he will. The referee calling Testo uh, over to him, but Testo just keeps backing away. As he does, he applauds the ref. Now here in the 29th minute, Testo picks up the yellow. So that two cautions now for Montreal in the last uh, two minutes. Rhinos have the free kick in the center circle. Still no score. Three games on tap, a couple of later on here today in the league, and uh, both those games starting at about 6 o'clock Eastern time. Long chip forward by Palguda, down to the 18. Delicott heads it in the air, gets to it again, heads it, but to the outside, nobody's there. As Kremlmeyer moved in behind, that one rolls away and out, throw in deep in the corner for the impact. Other games tonight, uh, Atlanta at Miami, Puerto Rico at Minnesota. Headed for, but blocked. Testo passed along the 35 toward the middle. Carried forward, then turned to the outside up the right wing and approaching midfield. Cross midfield on the attack of LeDuc. Turns it ahead and running up and overlapping on the outside. Cross down on the six, hit ball in, but that's wide and not over the end line. Nice setup, nice pass. And a hitter by Brown, but puts it wide left. A lot of speed from the right back. Yuka out, moving up on the play, showed a lot of speed. Getting to the ball and a nice cross. So battle to take the kick. With the right foot, will deliver out through midfield. Headed in the air, coming down, and uh, brought aside by Testo. He'll drop it back, and turning off to it is Gotti. On the near side, up the left wing. Moving in, Ball, as he bumps to Lorenzo, and a foul is called on Ball. 
Rhinos players that are available for substitution for this game include Nate Kraft, Steve Guffey, Mauricio Salas. It's Chad Severs, Tenwa Bonsu, and Ray Martinez. All of those players available for substitution. Of course, the backup keeper is Tim Milia. Drop back in the box. Vallow has it for the Rhinos. Right footer, but didn't get a whole lot on it. Out the near side, headed in the air. Ball now underneath it, heads it forward, but stepping in to take it away is Jefferson. Back here on the near side, but spun it out over the touch line. Throw in for the Rhinos on the near side. From their own to 35, ball stepping up. Throw in along the near touch. Then Yonger spins in behind, trying to get to it, but is blocked away and then hammered out the midfield by Pesolito. Tiger steps in to intercept. Rhinos have it. Ball pass off in the middle. One touch, Gregor dropping it. De Lorenzo, or rather uh, Loera, on the left wing side for Earls in the center circle for Loera. Zone side of midfield. Smith plays it back. Al Gouda draws it forward, dribbles across the midfield line. To the outside on the left wing for Andrew Gregor. As he's challenged there, in then spin and drop it all the way back down to Vallo at his 18. Linus keeper with the ball. We're into the 32nd minute, no score. Right footed out through midfield. Down it caught up, able to flick it forward. Ben Younger in underneath it, blocks it. That got away from him, rolls to the outside of the box. A roller down inside, tried to sneak it through. Moving in, Krebelmeyer, up with the ball, shoots. He scores! Luke Krebelmeyer draws it. He made it through the defender and puts it inside the low post. Krebelmeyer, and nice feat of getting it through, then drops it to the wide side, and Krebelmeyer continues the hot hand as he scores. And the Rhinos finally have scored a goal here in Montreal. That's huge. Huge as Rochester scores, and the goal coming in the 33rd minute. Kremlmeyer with the goal, picking up his third goal of the season, and now has 10 points to move into a tie with Salas for second in the points total for the Rhinos. ALC of Ben Younger gets an assist. I think he said unassisted. No assist. Well, that's unfortunate for Manyonger. He did get the ball through, but it might have been touched by the defender. But anyway, unassisted for Kremlmeyer. The Rhinos have scored first and take a one nothing lead. Kremlmeyer has been playing outstanding. Ahead on the near wing, Testo. It's turned around. Being triple team. Kremlmeyer knocks it loose. Ball still in play and ball getting to it. Well, right footed up into the stands. Kremlmeyer. Last four games, now has two goals and one assist for five points. Last eight games, has three goals, three assists for nine points in the last eight games. Outstanding. On the near wing. It is a uh, spin around. Jefferson gets away. Near corner of the box to Testo. Tips it off in the middle. Lining up LeDuc with the right foot. And he puts it up high over top of the crossbar. And I have unofficially four shots for each side now. That's unofficial. 34th minute. Rhinos on top, one nothing. But that's the first time the Rhinos have scored a goal here in Montreal since back the year 2000. Now yeah, let's see now if they can't hold on somehow and try and come up with their first win in the what the last 10 centuries. Cross midfield. Smith heads it off into the center circle. Back for Gregor will lay it off, but it's picked off and carried away by the impact. Then Brown run over by Pelguda, and the foul is called. 30 yards out off the right wing side, the free kick for the impact. Montreal kick. Thirty-fifth minute. Kremel Meyer scoring in the thirty-third. Ball lined up. And that's about the same spot where where they scored the goal in the last game Friday night. Di Lorenzo, a left-footed kicker, put it inside the back post. And it looks like he'll try it again. We'll see how he does this time. This time, however, a chip shot down inside. Headed back toward the middle. And getting the foot on it. Loera will bang it away out of the near side. Up into the stands at one bounce. So this time, the impact unable to... Take advantage of the situation. Throw in deep to the corner. Gotti. Testa will cross. Let that out over the end line. And uh, was it out? Yes, it was. Out to a goal kick for the Rhinos. 36 minute sponsors of these broadcasts include Dr. Donald Dudley, the official chiropractor for the Rhinos. You can call him at 225-6430 or go online to healthsourcechiropractic.com. 
I'm Pellegrino's Deli Cafe, always fresh, always fast, always delicious. And by the Harrow East Athletic Club on the web at harrowEast.com. And the Rhinos, players who are warming up now head back to the bench. And they'll take a seat, it looks like, for the remainder of the half. Ball played through midfield, far side, then it's put up into the stand. So on the far side of the field, a throw in for the Rhinos from Montreal, uh, 40 on the left wing side. Earls will move up for the throw-in. By the way, we'll be hearing from Danny Earls at the half. He'll be our intermission guest. A fine young man and an outstanding player. And scored the only goal Friday night for the Rhinos. It's a return on the throw-in. Chips it forward. However, that's blocked away by the impact and played back to midfield. Underneath it, Smith, but knocked loose and carried forward. Here comes Montreal moving up. As uh, Jefferson turns back to the right foot side, trying to get away from Palguda. Draw back heel for Brown. Drops in the 18, and Earls checking back on the ball. Is able to steal it away, spins it off into the stands on the far side. Throw in for the impact from the Rochester 35 on the far wing. On forward, a pass off in the middle. Turn to the outside. Trying to get back in front. Jertson drops it off. Working toward the middle. Left footer, bounce down inside the box, out the near end, but the offside flag is in the air. Offside against Montreal. Third time this half that the impact have been offside. 37th minute. Rhinos up 1 0. Battle sets the ball to his 15th. Wind continues to blow, but a little bit more across the field now than it was before. It was blowing directly into the face of Battle before. As the ball played through midfield. Knocked down to the center line. DiLorenzo with it. We'll try and sneak it forward. He does. Jefferson, however, Palguda gets their first place at back of the box for Vallow. He'll have to hustle to Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson comes in. He wipes out Vallow. And play goes on. Vallow able to boot it aside, but Jefferson in a collision knocked him flying. Here come the impact again. Vallow's up and back in the frame. That's carried away now and up the right wing side. With the Jertson along the right wing. 25 yards out. Drops it back toward the middle for LaDuke. From 35 feet in the middle, and it's headed away out of the box by Ball on the near side. Delicott chasing. Not getting to it first. Got he Now Delicott turns it behind, steals it away, and left foots it off the near wing, but out of bounds. Throw in on the near side for Montreal. Short to Testo. Back across midfield for Pasoli. He'll roll it off in the middle, his own side of midfield for Pasolito. Moves off into the center circle. Cross midfield. Looking to sneak it through to Jefferson. Drop pass, and now one touch forward to Testo. Plays it off into the middle. Turn back again to the outside on the near wing and in underneath it, DiLorenzo. Watched by Krummelmeyer. Left wing side, sneaks it down inside the box. Gotti moving in, takes his shot, blocked away by Bellow and bounced away off the uh, off the defender. Palguda to the end line. Palguda gets the right foot on it, spins it out of the near wing. Impact still with the ball on the near side. Near midfield, taken by Ledoux, drops it off in the center circle. Carried forward by Pisolito. Right footer in, but he'll then uh, put that one away. Shanks it off the outside of his foot wide. Goal kick for the Rhinos. And a great opportunity right there for the impact. But Vallow blocked the shot. It then hit uh, Palguda. Rolled to the end line wide of the net. Palguda got to it. So a goal kick for Rochester. 40th minute. Rhinos up 1-0. That's right. We're in Montreal and the Rhinos scored. Can you believe it? It's true. Booted out through midfield, but out of bounds on the far side. So a turnover. And now the ball tackled away by Loera to Earls. The Rhinos have it. Cross midfield. Earls on the left wing. He's dumped from behind. The foul is called. But now the Rhinos will have the restart just across the midfield line. Again, a great crowd on hand. Uh, I look across the uh, stands, very few empty seats on the far side. I don't think there's any empty seats on the near side. And the end zone seats down to my left are about uh, half full. Ball played down inside, up, and hit ball, and they score! A hit ball in, Jordan came out, but Dillicott up in the air with a head ball, got to it, puts it behind Jordan, one hopper into the net, and the Rhinos have scored. Ball played down inside, Jordan came out, but Dillicott got even higher. And is able to head it by, and the Rhinos take a 2 nothing lead. Rochester goal scored here in the 41st minute. As Delicott scores his third of the season. 
And the Rhinos are up 2 nothing here in Montreal. That's just amazing. Yeah, we'll see how they can do now at holding on. Now they have a 2 nothing lead. So Rochester up 2 nothing on goals by Krummelmeyer and Delicat. And did we have an assist on that one? That is uh, Gregor getting the assist. Thank you very much. Gregor assisting. As the ball is brought forward. And by the impact down to the Rochester 40, turned to the outside of the near wing, and a give and go to the outside once again for Leduc. Drops it off in the middle for Gotti. He'll turn and looks for the ball, pulls it up the near wing to the outside. And they give and go once again for Gotti. Near corner of the box. Krummelmeyer gets the foot on it, but it's tipped out top, and Leduc takes it. His chip down inside the 18, headed away by Smith, far into the box. Here's a roller in by Jertsen, hits the outside of that. Jertsen got the shot away, but he put it out over the end line. Now, an argument about who touched the ball last. It evidently went off a Rochester player because it's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick for Montreal. Short to the corner, back to the outside of the box, across down inside, head ball in, Jerson. That's booted away by Earls from the two. Out top again, volleyed back in the box. Head ball knocked away by Lower out the near side. In underneath it, cross off of the far side. Head ball in once again, wide and out over the end line, and the Rhinos dodge a bullet. And Scott Vallow sits on the pitch. He is hurt. Vallow calling the referee over, then calling the trainer over. After that collision from before... A few minutes ago, he went down hard, and he gets up, and you can see he was having some problems trying to uh, maintain his composure. We do see Tim Melia up, warming up, as Vallow is sitting on the pitch. 43rd minute, and the Rhinos are up 2-0. Vallow gets the ball, and he's going to stay on. Vallow stays in. Uh, once again, the impact applying all kinds of pressure here. Now yeah, they're applauding everybody, somebody in the stands. Oh, Ken Dryden. Wow. The, uh, the uh, all-time great goaltender is here. Kenny is here. Cross midfield. That's for hockey, of course. Has the ball brought forward. Brown and uh, Jefferson gets by. And he is in behind. And an offside flag is in the air. So the ball will be brought forward out to around the 35 for the restart. So that's who they were applauding. Ken Dryden. Now getting the ball, sending it at his 35. We're in the 44th minute here in Montreal and a 2-0 lead for Rochester. Steve Guppy up, pacing back and forth in front of his bench. I hope he doesn't have his shin pads on. He's in his coaching role, so he can't have his shin pads on. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, long story. I don't know if you heard that one or not. Sometimes the officiating is uh, interesting. Laid away up the left wing side, deep to the corner by Palgunas. The ball rolls and rolls and rolls out in the far corner, and it'll be a throw in deep in the corner for the impact on the far side of the field. Throw in. High looping throw in by Yoga Vial and headed up into the stands by Earl. So another throw into the far side for Montreal, this time from around their own 35. Out to near midfield, stepping up, Palguda as the ball blocked away and then cleared all the way deep in the corner. Plato. Being bothered there by Delicott as the ball rolls over the end line. It'll be a goal kick for Montreal. 45th minute. And a 2-0 lead for the Rhinos, having scored in the 33rd and the 41st. Kremlmeyer unassisted on the first, although Menyonger should get an assist. Delicott assisted by Gregor uh, for the second goal. Delicott tipping it off, Gregor on the left wing. He'll serve it, crossfield on the near side. Menyonger after it as he blocks. Uh, Gotti away, turns back with the ball, and now rolls it along the 20. Trying to get loose, but no room. The lane closed down, so he drops it back for Loera. One touch at the middle, stepping up to intercept, carried forward by Jerson. Center circle. Spins back in the ball. Stepping in. There's ball to boot it away with the left foot. Drives the ball to the far side. Out of bounds. One minute of additional time. One minute stop each time. Thank you. Carried for it. 
Out of the right wing. Brought forward out to the midfield line. Drop back in the center circle. Here comes Montreal in the attack. Up the left wing. Feed four by Pasoli. Brown turns it to the outside on the near wing. And ahead with it is Gotti. Back toward the middle on the 40. Take it by Pasoli. Off in the middle. Stepping up Leduc with a feed forward. Brown one touch to the outside on the right wing. Carried forward on the wing. Nyoga Biel sends it near the end line. Here's a cross attempt. That's through the six on the near side and headed away out over the end line by Kremlmeyer. I think he might have wanted to let that one roll. There was nobody in behind him. Montreal corner. Off the left wing side. Leduc will take the corner. We're in stoppage time here in the first half. Leduc, left-footed service, goes for the back post, up in the air, head ball up in the air, battle up, and the ball comes down out over the end line. I think it was off of Testo and out. Goal kick for the Rhinos. Rochester goal kick. Again, they win back to blowing directly in the face of Vallow. There in the first half. First half about to come to an end, just seconds remaining. About time to put the ball in play is about it for the first half. Vallow is set. Now with the right foot, drives it away. Low line drive, kick through midfield. There's the whistle. And so we go to halftime. Well, outstanding half right there for the Rhinos. As yes, they have finally scored a goal here in Montreal. In fact, scored two. And the Rhinos do have a lead. See if they're able to hold on the rest of the way. And it's been a long time since they've had a win here in Montreal. We'll see if today might be the day. At the half from Stade Saputo in Montreal. It is the Rochester Rhinos 2, Montreal Impact, nothing. And this is the Rhinos Broadcast Network. Salvatore's Pizza, we deliver everything but babies. Salvatore's new Salvi plates, hamburger plate, cheeseburger plate, Italian sausage plate, and the new hot dog plates made with Soccer Sam's all beef wieners. Salvatore's new Salvi plates, yeah, we deliver them. Call 234-5555 or order online at 234-5555.com. In Montreal, it's halftime, a 2 nothing lead for the Rhinos over the impact. Rhinos at home next Sunday against the Atlanta Silverbacks. That's a 6.05 kickoff time next Sunday. Gates open at 5, Rex's birthday party, 5,000. Rex player cards will be given away. It's a family fun day. Clowns, face painter, bounce houses, all brought to you by Blue Apple Productions. And a couple of other things that are going on. There's live music by 10-year-old Amelia Winder. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, the Rhinestones are going to be playing the mascots at the halftime. The first ever Rhinestones mascots game at halftime. That should be interesting. Also, take advantage of a couple of promotions. Uh, donate a soccer ball for Nick for uh, uh, kicks. Yeah, it's kick for Nick, I think it is. And receive a buy one, get one free ticket. Also, stop by Wendy's locations, pick up a discount coupon at any of the area Wendy's locations. And actually, that's for every home game during the month of August. But uh, So next weekend, next Sunday, 6.05, kickoff time as the Rhinos host the Atlanta Silverbacks. About to get going second half. The Rhinos up 2-0. This is the Rhinos Broadcast Network. And Scott Dallow in goal down to my right. A couple of substitutions for the impact. As uh, coming in is Donatelli. And uh, also uh, checking in now is uh, Rocco Placentino. Both those guys played against Rochester on Friday night. Taken out Jefferson and Gotti. And the ball rolled in out over the end line. And the Rhinos end of the field again. That's to my right here in the second half of play. So Placentino is in. And Tony Donatelli is also in. As the impact will... Look to get back into this match. You know, it looks like all of a sudden the uh, wind has changed directions. It's still blowing in the face of Vallow now, down at the other end of the field. Well, I'm not sure about the the soccer gods might not be too happy with the so- with the score here of this soccer game in Montreal because all of a sudden it's blackened and and uh, the wind is picking up and we might have a storm blowing in from behind us. On the far side, as a foul is called on the Rhinos, it'll be Leduc on the restart. His own side of midfield. Looks like we might get some uh, rain pot. It feels like rain coming in from behind. And across midfield into Rhino territory. That's played toward the middle. Jertsen turning back with the ball. He'll uh, back heel, but that's picked off and carried away. The Rhinos uh, into the center circle. Manyaga giving it off. And Delicat up the right wing side. Running onto the ball. Goes Kremlmeyer. Will he get there? No, he does not. It rolls out. And the attack and the throw in for the impact from their own 30 off the left wing side. Again, Rhinos... Here in the second half, shooting it up to my left. Valoing goal down to my right. 
As the ball played out at midfield, headed forward by Smith. And uh, nodded off into the middle, and that's popped up, coming down to the center circle. Brown in underneath it. Drives it away, being chased from behind by Gregor. Down to the 25, and the middle still has it. And he goes down. Play goes on. He gets up, starts yelling at the left. Now he comes back, and he elbows Gregor. And he's going to draw a card, a red card. Brown came up. He elbowed Gregor. With the elbow right to the head, and the referee turned and uh, came right out with a red card. So Brown got up. He was very upset, first of all. It sure looked to me like he took a dive as he was chased from behind. And it went down to the 20 in the middle. It looked to me like he took a dive, and the ref didn't fall for it either. And then uh, as uh, Gregor came in behind him, Brown came right back with the elbow to the face. And Gregor dropped like a rock. And that is a red card here in the 47th minute to Brown of the impact. Now the ejection will put the impact of man down. As Roberto Brown will head for the locker room. So the Panamanian national takes his time walking off the pitch. Well, now a kick for the Rhinos from their own 20 to be taken by Vallo. And the Rhinos are sitting in excellent position now to hold on. For this win, let's see if they can uh, pull it out here today in Montreal, having a 2 nothing lead. Goals in the 32nd and 41st minutes. Kremlmeyer getting the first and Delicott the second. All flighted through midfield. Flicked forward by Delicott to the outside, but blocked away. Delicott with it, then it's tackled off him. Moving in up from the midfield. Ball hammered it. That's off a leg and deflected all the way back into Rhino territory. Smith will lay it back in the box and Dallow with the right foot. First times it away out near midfield. Knocked down by Tiger, but again, the impact with the ball, bringing it forward to the outside on the near wing for Donatelli. 1v1 against Earls, turns back toward the middle, left foots it off in the middle, stepping in, Kremlmeyer. It's his own man, Manjager, the ball bounced through in the middle, is picked up by Testo, and still controlled by the impact. And it's Dino Renzo with a left foot, but blocked away by Loera, and the ball rolling off deep in the far corner, chased down by Ball. Getting to it in the corner to keep it in, roller ahead for Kremlmeyer up the wing. As he's watching behind, puts it away off the foot of the defender and up into the stands. Kremlmeyer taken down. And it'll be a throw in for the Rhinos. Kremlmeyer slow getting up. But does. 50th minute. 2 nothing lead for the Rhinos. Throw in out across midfield. Turning back, headed in the air by Pasoli. Delicott on the other side. But the ball still into Rhino territory underneath the Tiger. Tried to left foot it away, but he spun through the ball, and it comes out of the near wing, and uh, Earls, as he's run over in a collision, ball rolls loose out of the near wing as play goes on. Earls gets up, he's all right. Drop back on the near side, Gregor left foots it out through midfield. Turning back for it underneath it, Pisolito. Turns back with the ball as he's watched by Delicat. He'll lay it back inside the box to Jordan, and the Montreal keeper has the ball to his six. Back out the near end of his six to the... Near end of the 18, 50th minute here in uh, Montreal and a 2 nothing lead for the Rhinos. Pass brought away in upfield. One touch on the ball, back at the midfield line. Testo knocks it down. In the center circle, right footed out on the near side for Donatelli. As he's watched by Earls, turning back with the ball, still has it. On the 45 and now drops it through the center circle off of the far wing, carried forward by Pasoli. Into Rhino territory, looking for the through ball to pass ahead, stuck inside the box. At the far end, Placentino bumping, uh, bumping Smith. The ball rolls out over the end line, and that is off of uh, the impact, the goal kick for the Rhinos. Get taken by Vallow, and the fans not too happy with that call, or a lack thereof. Vallow, actually, I guess a foul was called on Placentino as he came in shoulder to shoulder on Smith. As the free kick for the Rhinos, eight yards out. Through midfield, headed toward the middle for Manyager. Turns, trying to get in behind Pisolito, but the ball taken away, and the impact have it in turn, tackled by Delicott. In the center circle, he's taken down. The ball loose is brought away and across midfield by Montreal. Earl steps in, blocks it, and the ball rolls out on the near wing, throwing at midfield on the near side for the impact. Yoko out to take the throw in. Right along the midfield line, tips it forward. Gotti tried to turn to the outside, or not Gotti, but rather uh, that's Jertsen ahead for Tiger, and the Rhinos take it back in the center circle. Delicott one touch forward, Man Younger on the right side, moving up is Kremlmeyer. He's challenged from behind, trying to drop in the middle, but stepping in to intercept is Pisolito. Turns back with the ball along his 35. 
Begins to work it outfield, through midfield. Ball knocked down, carried four. Pasantino turns back to the right side, and then coming in behind Loera and bowls him over. Free kick for the impact in the middle of the field of the 35. Linos have the, rather the impact have the restart. Looks like Montreal is getting ready for another substitution as Riviero is up. So the ball plays 35 yards out directly in the middle of the field. The Rhinos will have a four-man wall at the 25. We're in the 52nd minute. Left footer Pasantino goes to the left post. He bends it wide and that outside the left post over the end line. A goal kick for the Rhinos. More sponsors of our broadcast include AT&T Mobility, Your World Delivered, by Food Link, Abundant Shared, and by 20 Toe Photo, official photographer of the Rhinos at 20toephoto.com. Battle takes the kick from his six. Sends it out across the midfield line, headed in the air, coming down to the midfield line. Loera steps up, touching it forward. Gregor, one touch to the outside, but stepping in the way. Pasoli heads it off in the middle. And the whistle is blown, and a foul is called on the impact. So the Rhinos down a free kick, 35 yards out off the right wing side. 53rd minute. He down to the far end of the box. Kremlmeyer crossed down inside, but headed away and out top. That's booted from the 20 out near midfield. Stepping up, Smith draws it down in the center circle. He'll lay it out along the midfield line on the near side for Earls. Turning back as he's challenged there by Jerks. And he'll roll it all the way back down to the 20 for Vallo. Right foots it out through midfield. On the far side, Kremlmeyer. I couldn't get to it. It's blocked away and out of bounds on the far side by Fasoli. Throw it at midfield on the far side for the Rhinos. Actually, a foul is called, so it's a free kick for the Rhinos from their own 40. Or from the uh, other 40, a substitution now. As in is Rubiero, and coming off is Leduc in the 54th minute. 54th minute, Leduc is out, Rubiero is in. So that's three subs in the game for the impact. Montreal has made three. Rochester has not made a substitution as of yet. Rhinos up 2 0. As from the restart, switched off on the near side to Earls, carries it off the left wing to the outside for Gregor. Looks for a return pass, rolls it deep in the corner for Earls, down to the 10. Here's a cross down along the 10 inside, stuck through, and as uh, Delicott dummied it through, Minyager couldn't reach it in time. The ball booted away out near midfield. Recovered by the Rhinos. Lower up from 40 yards out in the middle. Turns, has it on the right foot side, lays it to the outside on the far wing for Ball. Runs on to it, brings it up, down to the 20, into the outside. Kremlmeyer deep to the corner as he slides into the ball. Gales is able to keep it in. Nice hustle by Kremlmeyer. But then he gets tied up and the ball is brought away. Foul is called on Kremlmeyer. Reaching in. 55th minute. Rochester up, 2 zip. Impact on the restart from their own 25. That's played out through midfield. Loera there to hit it right back across the midfield line on the outside for Kremlmeyer on the far wing. Off the right wing, rolls it toward the middle for Manyonger, drops it back. Loera one touch in the middle, Fitzpatrick right back to Loera. This time he'll pop it up in the air on the far side, but put it over top of Kremlmeyer and out. Throw in for the impact on the far side of the field from their own 25. Back near midfield, headed in the air, in underneath it is Smith. He'll then nod it for it. And Younger coming back as the ball knocked loose into the middle and carried forward by the impact. Pizzolino to the outside of the near wing for Yoko Vial. Long on the right wing side through everybody and the ball will roll out over the end line. It'll be a goal kick for the Rhinos. Rochester goal kick. 56th minute. As Valor gets the ball and he'll set it at the 6th. Rhinos at home Sunday against the Atlanta Silverbacks. That's a 6.05 kickoff next Sunday. First time we'll see the Silverbacks this season. White put it away by Vallo. Out to midfield. Wind caught that one and slowed it up. Ball knocked down by Gregor, but got away. Ribeiro has it for the impact. Turning back toward the middle. Sneaks a pass through on a give-and-go return pass to Ribeiro. As he is taken down, and the foul is called. And a free kick for Montreal. 20 yards out ahead to the right of center. Very dangerous spot. On the kick for the impact. Yeah, it looked like Ribeiro tried to squeeze through. 
the defenders and was sandwiched off the ball and taken down. But right now, you're going to see, I think, a lot of makeup calls because the impact are a man down. Five man wall for the Rhinos. Inside the 18, DiLorenzo scored Friday, set the key, it up, drops it off, moving in. Pasentino shot blocked away in the wall and has turned out and out the midfield. Ball after, but coming back to run him off the ball as uh, the ball is played aside by Pasentino. Ball couldn't get away. Carried up the left wing side, deep in the far corner. It is Pisolero, long cross down inside, headed away out the near end by Earls. He'll chase back for the ball and he's run over, but does drive it out to midfield and a foul is called. Yeah, the Rhinos had the run of play, but the whistle blew anyway, and Andrew Greger not too happy with that call, but it's a free kick for the Rhinos from around their own uh, 20. Now Duda on the restart, feeds it off into the middle for Loera. He'll switch it to the right wing side for Ball. Rhinos bring it forward, 58th minute, Rochester up 2-0. On the right wing side, Ball with a pass ahead, Men Younger drops it back for Ball. And a right-footed chip. Coming down far corner of the box, Delicat moving in, but Pesolito able to head it away, and Delicat come down holding on to the back of his head in a collision there. Ball out of bounds to the far side off of the impact throw in for the Rhinos. Delicat down on a knee, took one to the back of the head. Again next Sunday, Rex's birthday party at Paytech Park. And amongst all of the activities in the festive atmosphere will be the first ever Rhinestones against the Mascots halftime game. And it's next Sunday with the Atlanta Silverbacks coming to town. Come on out and enjoy the birthday party. Ellicott is up and all right. Throw into the corner for Manyanger as he's watched there by Pasoli and then taken down. The ball carried away. Pasoli far into the box. Manyanger not getting up. That's played out to midfield. Headed away across midfield and chased down by Palguda. But Manyanger still in the corner. Palguda left foots it through midfield. Delicott knocks it down on the near side. Gregor up the left wing. They return pass to, to uh, Delicott. To Earls tried to sneak it through, but blocked away and out over the touchline on the near side. And in the far corner of the field, Menyonger is still down. The rough is going to head over to see what's going on with Johnny Menyonger. 59th minute. Sponsors of these broadcasts include Free Time Magazine, Western New York's Art and Entertainment Guide. Lamont Awards and Apparel, your choice for honoring your team, company, or special person. And also by Time Warner, get all in one, digital cable, digital phone, Roadrunner, one package, save hundreds. Linus trainer Dave DePasquale out to attend to Johnny Ben Younger, who was taken down deep in the far corner. Play went on for quite some time. They're looking at his left leg. Ben Younger, the player of the week this last week in the league. Rhinos had four players on the team of the week. Ballo, Earls, uh, Colonel Meyer, and Men Younger. And a great week that was for the Rhinos. Well, Men Younger is up. He's off the pitch on the far side. Out of bounds on the near side, or a foul is called, so a restart for Montreal. We're now into the 60th minute. Ball brought for Pizza Lido approaching midfield. Watched by Delicott, rolls it ahead across midfield for Jertsen. As they get tangled up, ball bouncing away at midfield. Jertsen turning up the near wing, tried to play it forward, but it's blocked by Earls. He's run off the ball, but gets away along the near side. Run off the ball once again by Donatelli, who turns in and takes the ball away. Kipped up the wing deep to the corner. After it, Smith will block as Placentino won't get to it. It's out over the end line and a goal kick for the Rhinos. Another substitution. Former Rhino, Pato Aguilera, getting ready to check in. Rhinos still have not made a substitution. All of the bench up and now standing along the near side. They've been warming up for quite some time. Out to midfield. Flick forward by Delicott from Younger, who's back in play. And Younger turns it forward, but that's tipped away to the outside of the near wing, and in underneath it, carried away by Donatelli. Out the right side, came over in a few games back with a trade for Becky to Vancouver. Kremlmeyer touching it across midfield, but stepping up to intercept. Laid away by Yoko Vial out on the far wing and carried up the left wing side. Into Rhino territory, and a pass deep to the corner to the end line. Rubiero watched there by Loera, and Loera knocks it away. Then ball run over from behind, knocked down by Rubiero. Foul is called, restart for the Rhinos from their own 10. 
on the far side. Substitution. Olivenia in and De Lorenzo out. Or Aguilar in, rather. And De Lorenzo out in the 62nd minute. Sixty second minute. So now Montreal has made four subs. Dallow from his eighteen with the right foot drives it away through midfield. Ellicott couldn't get up for it. That's carried away by the impact in the far wing shirts and turning back to the right foot. We'll switch on the near side. That one's sneaking behind Earls. Carried up the near wing to the box for Donatelli. Stops. This is back to the left foot. Takes a shot. Earls blocked it away. That's on top. Bicing on a tip. And the ball blocked out to the end line. Taking the kick was Placentino. He tried to bike kick, but it was going way wide. And grabbed the one bounce by Vallo. As I have it, that would be the, the first shot attempt of the second half for either side. Donatelli tries to slot it through, but blocked by the Rhinos. Out near midfield and on the near wing, carried forward. Pass back in the middle. Loera steps in to knock that one up in the air. Down to the center circle. Tiger steps in behind, and he'll draw it away on the right wing for Kermelmeyer. Grass midfield, chased by Testo from behind. Kermelmeyer tried to slow it up. Testo knocks it away and out. Throw in for the Rhinos, 40 yards out on the far side. 63rd minute in Montreal, and a 2-0 lead for the Rhinos. Ball moving up for the throw in. Well, it's pretty much totally cloudy now here in the Montreal area after a gorgeous sunny afternoon. It's cooled off and the wind has picked up and it's been feeling like the possibility of some moisture, but they haven't seen any yet. Headed for it. Knocked down in the center circle. Donato uh, Pato Aguilera will play it out of the near wing. On the right wing side, Yoko Vial ahead. Aguilera through midfield into Rhino territory. Turns it off into the middle for Placentino. His pass taken away by Palguda. Turns it and to the outside of the right wing for Kremlmeyer. Approaching midfield across the midfield line. The Menyonger. He looks for help to catch up. Menyonger chased from behind by Testo. Menyonger now will roll along the far touch line for Kremlmeyer. Sneaks a return pass through. Menyonger running onto the ball. He'll uh, move down to the end of the line and turn back to the left foot side. Spin around again. To the end line. Looking for the cross in front. Oh, the six. But getting to it is booted away by uh, Donatelli. Stepping up, ball will jam it deep to the corner, but that one shanked out of bounds in the far corner. Throw in for the impact from around their own five on the far side. Looks like the Rhinos will finally make a substitution. It's Maurizio Salas ready to check in. There's the throw in, ball again steps up, blocks it loose, but got away. And now hammered high in the air downfield. Back for it, Palguda in under the ball, bumping with Placentino. Palguda will nod to the side, then comes up the ball and plays it up the wing for ball. On the right side across midfield, Kermelmeyer tried to tip it through. However, ball blocked away and carried off by the impact. Center circle for Aguilar. He'll enter Rochester territory. Looks to the outside. Pass along the near wing. It's stepping up as Yoga Vial. Chased there by Earls. Tackled momentarily, but Yoga Vial gets away to the end line. Near into the box. Looking for a cross. Along the six. Head ball in. Ribeiro puts it wide. Make that Placentino got the header on it. Head ball for the back post, and it goes wide out over the end line. Country 1073 is WCRR, South Bristol, Rochester. Nice feed off the right wing side by Yoko Vial. The Rhinos making a substitution. Mauricio Salas checking in, and it'll be Alfonso Loera out here in the 60th minute. Uh, 66th minute. 66th minute. Salas, the former Montreal impact. Nice job by Loera. Excellent game. Now he gets the rest. So Salas is in. Ball set at the six. Battle waiting for the indication from the referee. Now he goes for it. And with the right foot, we'll drive it out through midfield. Headed away to the outside on the far wing. And Montreal carrying it forward. Riviera up the left side. Chase it behind. Grabbed onto by Delicott. Foul is called. And it'll be a free kick for Montreal. On the restart, Testo threw into the center circle for Aguilera. Real switch to the right wing side, running onto the ball as Yoko Vial spins it down inside the box with Palguda back. He'll uh, pound it away out the near side, still getting to it. Aguilera for the impact, taken away by Gregor. Throws it off for Menyonger as Testo closes him down, but Menyonger feeds it off into the middle, out toward the center circle. Not for by the impact, turned to the outside. Yoko Vial will drop it back to the midfield line for Pesolito. Turns around, spins back to the outside on the near wing. 
Evio Pisolito well, almost got away, but feeds it off to Pato, and now taken away by Menyonga Versalis up the near wing. He'll left foot it through, and Delicott tried to get to it in a foot race with Pisolito. They bump. Ball brought forward. Delicott got his shoulder in, knocks down Pisolito, and a foul is called. Foul, and a restart for the impact from their own 25. Jordan plays it ahead. 67th minute, off into the center circle for Ribeiro. Chased from behind by Tiger, but drops it back once again. Castro in the center circle, rolls it to the outside of the near wing for Yoko Vial and across midfield for Aguilara. As he's watched closely by Manyanger, who tips it loose, and it comes out, picked up on the near touch line by Yoko Vial up the right wing side for Pato. Now right footed down to the 20, head ball inside the near end of the box. Danatelli trying to settle the ball. Watched by Earl, switching back to the left foot. Send it down inside, and there's Smith uh, headed away and out. Testo rolls it ahead for Riviera at the 18. Turns back left foot, chips it in, but missed the short side. And the ball out over the end line. It's a goal kick for the Rhinos. Sponsors of these broadcasts include North Nagel, Rochester's full-service realtor, Marina Dodge, grab life by the horns, that's Dodge, and by the Pita Pit, where it's about fresh thinking and healthy eating. That a low kick into the center circle, that's tip forward. And out of the near side is Placentino up the right wing. Earl's back to tie him up. Placentino switching back to the right foot, moving in, shoots, he missed the upper corner on the short side. Tried to put it in the upper corner on the short side, but missed. As I have it in this half, unofficially, Montreal four shots, the Rhinos none. We're now in the 69th minute. 69th minute. Goal kick for Scott Dallow. Looks away downfield. They're right footed away, all the way out to the midfield line. Dallas flick forward for Delicott, draws it forward as he tips it down. Rolling ball coming down at the uh, 18 stop there by Jordan. As they had Pisolito. Turns it upfield, watch, chased by Delicott, past the center uh, line, and that's knocked away and out of bounds on the near side. Off of Aguilara, and that off of uh, the Rhinos, rather. No, it'll be off of Aguilara, throw in on the near side for the Rhinos at midfield. Earls to take the throw in. Goes short to Menyager. One touch right back to the outside. Earls, but that one got away from him off the inside of his left foot and out of bounds. Throw in on the near side now for Montreal. Now could be out with a throw in. Law the 35 to Testo. Begins to move upfield. 70th minute. And still a 2 0 lead for the Rhinos to the outside of the far wing. Chip through midfield into Rhino territory. Smith turning back as he battles Ribeiro, but the ball got away. Ribeiro carries it off in the far corner. Smith on him once again. 1v1. Dropped out top. Jerkson on the left wing side. Down to the 20. Looks for a cross. Pulling it toward the end line. It's loose. Roller down inside the box. And stepping in. Pal Gouda got the left foot on it. Uh, jam that one into the stands on the far side. Throw in for the impact. 15 yards out. On the far side of the field. The keeper, Jordan, has moved all the way out to nearly the midfield line. As now the impact need to do whatever they can to start applying as much pressure as possible. Trailing 2 nothing. Center circle. Pizzolino turns back to get away from Delicat. Now he'll again switch it to the left wing side, deep to the corner. And along the end line. Tackled away momentarily out of bounds on the far side. Nice job there by Ball. And a throw in for Jordan of the impact deep in the corner. Goes to the end of the box for Ribeiro. Turns it back to the outside. Jordan right footed cross down inside. Headed away by uh, by uh, Falguda, but down on the far side of the field. A collision. And a foul on the Rhinos. Ball colliding with uh, Jordan. They both were leaning over, hands on knees, and as the foul is called on the Rhinos, well, they move away. Everybody seems to be all right. There's been a few knocks in this game, all right. Off the left wing side, right-footed kicker and in-swinger. This from 15 yards out for the back post. Ian Bello hauls it down up the line, and he goes to the ground but still holds on to the ball. And starting to make some noise here. It's Todd Saputo. Ball through to midfield, but blocked. Otherwise, Delicott would have been gone as Joachim Biel will play it again into Rhino territory. Most of the action here in the second half has been in Rochester's end. Gone by Ribeiro, down to the 18. Look for a kick in for the short side miss. So now you have six shots for Montreal and none for the Rhinos here in the second half. Montreal likes to shoot. 
Last game, they outshot the Rhinos 16 to 4. So far in the season, they've outshot the opposition 184 to 136. They've led in shots in 10 of their 18 games or 17 games so far. Out to midfield, flick forward. Carried away, Kermel Meyer up the right side. Tellus helping out. He's chasing behind, trying to get away from Testo. Jumps over a tackle, ball blocked away and out. Throw in for the Rhinos from 18 yards out on the far side. Kermel Meyer will take the throw in. He's going to leave it there, so Ball will move up for the throw in. Short to Sellis. As he's bothered from behind, turns to get away from Testo to the end line. Gets to it to keep it in. Off of the far corner, now across down to the box, but Donatelli will first time it away. Out of midfield, in underneath it is Smith. He's chasing behind by Pasentino, but Smith will drive it up the right wing side. Headed away by the impact, stepping up, Tiger knocks it down. And dangerous play there on Pato. Foul is called, free kick for the Linos, 40 yards out, a little bit to the right of center. On the restart, at the far end of the box for Kremlmeyer. Draws it down inside to the end line. Here's a cross down inside, but headed away out to the end line, over the end line, and a corner kick for the Rhinos. Rochester corner. Anthony Gregor moving over for the corner kick. 73rd minute. This is one of those times when you have the lead and the clock, all of a sudden it seems like the clock stops running. It goes ever so fast when you're trailing. All right, Gregor, left-footed kick, in-swinger. Goes high. Where was he going with that one? Put it all the way out to the 35. Picking it out of midair. Tiger, first-timer, but he jams that one high in the air and wide of the net. So that didn't work very well. That's about the deepest the Rhinos have been in the other half of the field this half. Carried forward now. Pisolito outside the box. Drops it back once again to Jordan along his six. With the right foot. Sends it out on the near wing at the midfield line. They step up, headed away by Earls, but Earls' uh, push is called in the foul, so it'll be a free kick for the impact of the midfield line. Rhinos at home next Sunday against Atlanta. Ball booted all the way down to the box and all the way near the end line where it's taken by Vallo. Otto pressure, so Vallo picks the ball up. Now you roll it ahead. The right foot, low kick out through midfield. Menyager got the left foot on it, but got away from him. And that is played forward into Rhino territory again. Rolling ball. Vallo way over to the corner. Vicentino will challenge. Vallo will move in and uh, right foot it away up the touchline on the far side. Headed again into Rhino territory, but out of bounds. Throw in for the Rhinos from their own side of midfield. Last midfield for Delicott. Turns along the midfield line to get away. Delicott scored Rochester's second goal in this game, his third of the season. Meyer had the first. On downfield, Smith up, heads it aside. But in underneath it, Jertsen, well, one big bounce over him, has to turn back and come up with the ball again. Plays it off in the middle for Pato. Looks around, spins it to the outside. Yoke the owl. On the right wing side, ahead for Donatelli at the Rochester 20. Turns back to the middle, left footer in. For the back post side, headed in the air. Dallow out to his six, comes down with the ball on the fly. Dallow has it, throws it out of the far wing for Ben Yonger into the outside for Salas. Approaching midfield, Maurizio Salas left foots it. And it's headed away by Testo and now intercepted in turn by Ben Yonger into the center circle trying to get away. He's grabbed onto, taken down. And uh, he's down on the field and indicating he needs a change, grabbing onto his right leg. And the Rhino trainer is going to be called out once again. There's been Younger grabbing onto the right leg. It's the second time he's gone down here. 76th minute. And Montreal. And it is a 2 0 lead for the Rhinos. Dave DiPasquale indicating to the bench that uh, there needs to be a change made. As Ben Yager got spun around, taken down, and grabbing onto his right leg right away. So there will be a substitution coming up here shortly. Again, Deepa Squatty telling the coach to make the change. They're calling for Ray Martinez to uh, come up and get ready to go in. Again, 2 nothing in favor of the Rhinos. And Yonger is up, but he's being helped off the field. 
Whipping on the right leg, got it twisted around as he went down. So we should see a substitution coming up here shortly as Ray Martinez getting ready to check in. So Manyanger is out in the 77th minute. And walks off the pitch and now to the bench as play is underway once again. The Rhinos a man short at the moment, but of course the impact had been a man down since a red card back in the 47th minute. Headed out through midfield, Montreal on the left wing side into Rhino territory. Pasantino on the attack. He chased down along the 18 as he gets across away. Blocked away off of Smith out over the end line. A corner kick for Montreal. Hato Aguilera will take the corner off the left wing side. No, actually somebody else was there. No, it is Pato. Now Martinez is in. Ray Martinez is in here in the 78th minute. That's the second substitution of the match for the Rhinos. A top for the corner. Out to the 20, right foot, a boot blocked away by Ray Martinez on the far wing. Jurtson chasing it down. Montreal tried a little trickery there. They tried to catch the Rhino sleeping, but Martinez makes a nice play. It's cleared down inside the box, turned to the outside. Donatelli, right footer in, and it's blocked away out over the end line off of the left leg of Allo. Novello so gets the left foot on it and booted away on a very sharp angle shot taken by Donatelli. Corner kick for the impact off the right side. Here's the low service in the box. Blocked away out the near end of the box once again, and nobody will get to it. Off of the rhino, so a throw in. 18 yards out on the near side for the impact. Placentino with the throw in down to the box, but Earls is there to head it away, and he's run over from behind. And a foul is called. Referee having a few words for... The player that uh, gave, that is Pasoli, gave Danny Earls a shot from behind on a shoulder check and then hit him again as he went by. So the free kick for the Rhinos. Just outside the near corner of the 18 to be taken by Vallo. 79th minute. Ball played through midfield. Coming down across the midfield line. There's Palguda with the right foot. Popped that one up in the air and across midfield. And played to the outside of the far wing. Well, the stands are clearing out here. And I think it uh, must be raining. And, yep, you see a lot of people heading for the exits. It's a 2 nothing score with uh, 10 minutes or so to go. And the rain has started, so that's sending a lot of people to the exits. Out of midfield. Turn to the outside of the left wing. Not only that, but Montreal a man down. But you know what? Anything could happen, and usually does. Flicked off of the near side. Donatelli nods it to the outside. You'll get the out pass back in the middle, and the Tiger knocked it down. Palguda off of him, carried away by Gregor out to midfield for Donacott. He'll turn, drop it back. Sellis moving upfield to the outside of the right wing for Kremlmeyer. Spins back, still has the ball, lays it back his own side of midfield for Ball. Off the right wing, approaching midfield. Right foot's of the rest of the way down. In behind, Sellis gets in behind, far corner of the box, tries to tip it in for the back post. He missed it wide, puts it through the box on the near side. Ray Martinez has it near into the 18. Ray in the corner. Burns looks back toward the middle. Still has it. Wasting time, drops it off. Gregor trying to return pass, put away off of Donatelli, and now throw it on the near side for the Rhinos from uh, 30 yards out. See a few rain ponchos coming out. The rain gear. Danny Earls to take the throw in, 81st minute, to the corner. As that blocked away by Salas down inside the box. About recovered by the impact, and Montreal brings the ball away. They'll give the out, right foots it ahead, but Tiger steps up to intercept. Turns back to get away. He t- tried to slot it through, but picked off by Pato and the impact with the ball. They hit to the outside for Donatelli. Burns drops it back, but that's through the defenders. And all the way down to the 18. On the near side, B. Salito being chased there by Delicott. He Salito turns, drops it back in the box for uh, for Jordan. Right foots it away out through midfield. Smith up, heads it again into Montreal territory, and underneath it goes Krummelmeyer. Moving up the right wing side, trying it down to the 35. Chip down inside, moving in Martinez, but back to block it away. Yoke Biel on the 18. He'll turn it ahead upfield. Great for it by Testo from his 35. Rolls it to the near side for Pato, turning back for the ball. Watch there by Martinez. Pato still spinning back with the ball. Now he'll switch it off on the left wing side, the far side of the field. Carried forward, approaching midfield. That's played by Pasoli into Rhino territory. The ball snuck through, rolling down. Vallow out of his box. He'll uh, right-footed away out to midfield. 
That one just barely flighted over Delicat. Couldn't get the flick on. Knocked down and recovered again by Montreal. Their own side of the midfield line. Hadzo to the outside on the right wing. Moving up on the ball is Jokabiel. His pass ahead. Turning back. Testo drops it off. Then he's run over by Tiger in the ball on the near side. Jokabiel on the midfield line. But off of Pato. Taken away by Delicat. Off the left wing side. Takes his time. He'll move to the corner. Most likely to waste as much time as possible. As soon as I said that, of course, he stops and turns off. On the near side. Gregor right back to Delicat. Turns again to the outside. Ball blocked away. Stepping up. Tiger helps out. Love puts it deep to the corner. Ray Martinez after it. In the left wing corner to the end line. Gets to it for the cross. High through the box up the far side. That's headed away. Stepping in. Jertson able to tip it off into the middle for Ribeiro. And then it's blocked away by Delicat on the far wing. And ball won't get to it. Rolls out. Throw in for Montreal. On the far side. Nearly at the midfield line. Substitution. Matando getting ready to come in for Testo. In the 83rd minute, Testo is out, and Matondo is in. See that? Atiba Mondo, uh, whatever it is, Atiba. Wait a minute, I'll get it. See that? Tati Matondo. Throw in a midfield on the far side. Or the impact. High looping throw in. Back headed away by Gregor out near midfield. That's nodded forward. Stepping in as the ball is played to the outside. And it'll be another throw in for the Rhinos this time at midfield on the far side. Played in for Delicott. Got away under his left foot. Carried away by the impact. Right footed out through the center circle on the near wing for Matando. As that one knocked away by Earls. And the Rhinos recover the ball. Carried across midfield on the left wing side by Ray Martinez. Looks around, goes to the outside for Earls, running onto the ball, up the near wing, gets a left-footed cross, down inside the six, and right into the outstretched arms of Jordan, who throws it up the middle for Donatelli. Looking ahead of midfield, sneaks the ball across midfield for Pasentino, dummies it through, and Smith turning back, gets the ball, plays it back to the keeper, Valo will first time it away. Shanked it off the outside of his boot on the far side, recovered again by the impact, and kept in play, 84th minute now, right-footed ahead, that one kicked away out to midfield, by uh, Smith, headed again into Rhino territory, stepping in underneath the Sellis with the left foot, will hammer it first time downfield. Back for it, Pizzolito, bothered by Delicott, able to play it up the near side for Yoko Vial. Now approaching midfield, across midfield, the Riviera, one touch to the outside behind Matanda went out. Throwing on the near side for the Rhinos from their own 35. Earls will take the throw in. He's played another outstanding game. On the near wing, Earls throw in on the near side, but that's headed away by Montreal. Turned up the right, Ribeiro being blocked by Tiger, still being blocked. As he tried to feed, he sneaks it through, comes away with the ball. Ribeiro will drop it away on top of the 35 for Pato, tries to tee it up, turns it to the right foot, still to the right foot to get away from another. To the outside of the box, deep to the corner for Matando, stops it to the end line, is able to keep it in play, and then rolls away and out over the end line, a goal kick for the Rhinos. Sponsors of these broadcasts include... The Ferris Group, the best seat in the house, is in your Ferris apartment. See them all at Ferris.com. By the Messenger Post, now more than ever. And by Connolly Printing, the official printer of the Rhinos. Goal kick for Scott Vallow and the Rhinos. Rochester at home next Sunday. 6.05 kickoff against the Atlanta Silverbacks. Rex's birthday party next Sunday. Make sure you're there. A lot of things happening. Carried up the right side. Martinez on the far wing. At the far end of the box, look for a cross, but blocked away into the stands. It'll be a throw-in for the Rhinos, 25 yards out of the far side of the field. We're in the 86th minute, and the Rhinos leading 2-0. Both goals, first half. Kremlmeyer, 32nd minute. Delicott, 41st. High looping throw-in, coming down inside the far corner of the box, but headed away, moving up. Tiger blocks it, and Gregor, one touch, plays it back to midfield. In the center circle for Earls. Left foots it ahead, back to the right wing side. Deep in the corner, Kremlmeyer getting to it. Off the right toe at the end line. Keeps it in play momentarily, but then gets away. Rolls out over the end line and a goal kick for Montreal. Jordan setting the ball. Now places it. Backs up again. Not sure what he's doing. He's going back and forth. He's wasting his own team's time. Now he right foots it out. Doesn't even reach midfield, and Kremlmeyer heads it back. As that one will get away and out of bounds on the far side. It'll be a throw-in for the impact from their own 30 on the far side. Throw-in to be taken by Fasoli. 
Moves up. Moves up again. Now the throw in. At the Rhinos, Gregor heads it away for Sellis. He'll turn with the left foot and bang it downfield. Ball rolling off into the near corner. Jordan way after the ball in the corner gets to it. Plays it ahead. Vizalito. Now the 87th minute here at Scott Zaputo in Montreal. And the ball is through midfield. That's headed aside by Palguda for Gregor at the midfield line. Through the center circle. Kermel Meyer up the right side. Turning back. Left foot to the head. Nelly dummies it through in the near side. Chased down by Martinez entering the near end of the box. Has it right foot, blocked away, spins around, still has the ball, sneaks it through, and now finally it's tackled away by Pizzolito, and the loose ball carried away. Off in the middle, upfield comes Ribeiro. To the outside on the left wing, and running onto it is Jertsen. Seeds watched there by ball, Jertsen turning back, feeds, tried to get it through to Ribeiro, and does. Turns it to the outside of the left wing, down to the far side, Placentino's cross along the 18, and the Rhinos come back and steal it away. Martinez off the far wing for Sellers. Moves upfield, across the midfield line. Two on three, half in the middle for Delicat. Turns and looks around, switching back to the right wing side. Waits for help to catch up and then rolls it away out on the outside for Kremlmeyer. The Rhinos really taking their time here, wasting as much time as possible. Drop back near midfield for Ball. Off in the middle, taken by Gregor. To the outside again for Ball. On the right wing side, we're in the 88th minute. Down inside the box, but blocked away and after recovered and carried away by the impact. Upfield. Drawn off as... Pasoni's knocked off the ball, and the Rhinos will take it right back. On the right side, ahead for Kremlmeyer. Down to the far corner of the box, tried to sneak it through, but it's tackled away, and now loose ball picked up by Delicat. To the outside, of the right wing for Sellis. He'll spin back to the outside and lay it back to the 35, taken by Gregor. Rhinos again, now playing just playing some keep away. It chipped forward by Gregor, down to the far end of the box. Kremlmeyer turning in behind, trying to get away from Pasoli. Looks for a cross, but kicked out over the end line. And that blocked away by the impact, a corner kick for the Rhinos. Rochester corner. 89th minute. Time running out on Montreal. And the Rhinos looking for their first win in a long, long time here in Montreal. Scored their first goal since back in the year 2000. Picked up two here in this one. Gravel Meyer, far into the box. Drops it off, tipped to the corner, and out of bounds. That off of the Rhinos and out, throw in deep in the corner for the impact. Right forward by Montreal, right footed out to midfield. Coming down to the center circle, in underneath it, Palguda. With the left foot, will just hammer it upfield again. Locked aside, stepping in is Gregor. Tackle the side to get it away from Ribeiro, and up with it is Kremlmeyer. As he's taken down, loose ball, Delicat gets to it, to the outside for Gregor, off his toe, and out of bounds. Throw in for Montreal to the far side. Now the 90th minute. 90th minute, and the ball carried forward by the impact. Out toward midfield. Across the midfield line, Pisolito into the center circle for Aguilar. He'll switch it to the right wing side, running onto the ball. He'll come out, pulls it down inside the box, moving in Matando. He's deep to the end line, gets a pass back in front. However, offside flag was in the air. Offside against the impact. So the Rhinos with the free kick from the run 18. Clock is about to stop at 90. Ball is set by Vallow. And... Five minutes of additional time. Five minutes of stoppage time. Wow, that's a lot. Cross midfield, back forward, Ray Martinez. Midfield line, Gregor off the left wing side. The ball rolling. Down to the end of the box, and uh, Jordan has to play it. To get away from Salas, dribbles out the near side. Right foots it out through midfield. But Tondo looking for the flick on, but getting to it is Earls. Left foots it ahead of midfield for Gregor. Dropping it back once again. Taken by Palguda along his 35, and he'll left foot it all the way through and downfield. Back forward, Pasoli. Top of the ball, it is 18, turns and looks ahead. We're into stoppage time. Again, there was five minutes of additional time. Out the left wing side, Pato up the wing and across midfield into Rhino territory, taken by Jertsen. On the left wing side, looks at the middle, throws a log in the middle for Ribeiro. Turns to the head down to the 35, goes to the outside, Matano with the near corner of the 18, watched by Earls, lays it off on the back line, Joe, uh, moving in, right across the goal mouth. You look at the L feed right out the other side. Throws it two yards outside the goal line, right along the line and out the other side. Throw in for the Rhinos. Off the right wing comes Salas. Approaching midfield into Rhino territory. Mauricio Salas on the right side, being chased there by Jertsen. Turns back with the ball. Former Montreal player, Mauricio Salas, drops it off in the center circle to Tiger. 
to the outside of the near wing, and Earl's up the left wing, chased from behind, gets away, sneaks it, rolls it to the open left wing corner, nobody's there, and that rolls out over the end line. Goal kick once again for the impact. To the outside of the near wing, about three minutes to go in stoppage time. Carried ahead near midfield. Brought forward by Pasoli. Into the center circle and turns it to the outside of the near wing. Donatelli able to drop it back at midfield for Yoko Vial. His pass rolled across midfield for Riviero in the center circle but knocked away by Sellis. However, that bounces all the way down to the Rochester 20 for Johnny Ball. He'll right foot it all the way across midfield. Ray Martinez in underneath it. Gets after the ball along the near touchline. Gets to it to keep it in. And he did not keep it in. It'll be a throw in for Montreal from their own 25 on the near side. Throw in along the near wing to midfield for Matando. Nice tackle by Earls to knock it away, but it, that's right to uh, Aguilera. And the ball still controlled by Montreal. Up the left wing side across midfield is Pasoli. Pass ahead. He uh, slots the ball through, but Smith turning back for it gets to it. Tips it to the outside for Ball, and the Rhinos have it back. Ball drives it out through midfield. Delicott up the right wing. He'll chase after the ball on the open right wing side. Down inside the box. Takes a look as he moves in. Turns off of the middle end. Goes down. And play goes on. Delicott looking for the call, but he doesn't get it. Does not get the call from the referee. Played out top. Riviera will drop it back. And I, you're not going to get that call here in Montreal, that's for sure. Crash midfield on the attack. Donatelli. He'll pull it down into Rhino territory. Knock loose on the far side. Up the left wing is Jerkson. Down to the far end of the box, to the end line, looking for a cross, roller down inside, that's tipped away and out of the box. Back toward Kremlmeyer, rolls it to the outside, carried forward by Gregor. They have about a minute or so to go in stoppage time. Two minutes remaining, thank you. And my thanks to John Nasik, did I say that right? Been assisting me here today, keeping me up to date on all what's going on, my thanks. Gary Dots uh, switched off on the left wing side, and now here's Martinez drawing it down to the near end of the box. On top of the 20, Sellis tried to tee it up, left-footed, but blocked away. Came right back to him, got away, and Matado will carry it aside. Upfield, Matado gets away into the center circle. Turns back to the right foot, being chased by Sellis. Drops it back in the center circle, continuing on now, Ribeiro. Into the Rochester zone, down to the 35. Looks to the middle, down to the 20, rolls it to the outside for Jerson. Far into the box, drawing it down inside. Takes the shot, but blocked away by Ball. Got a right foot on it, that's blocked away on the far side. And the rolling ball is recovered by Kremlmeyer. On the far wing, right foots it out through midfield for Delicott, turning in behind, almost got away. Blocked and out of bounds, throw in for the Rhinos on the far side. Call it now about a minute to go. So about one minute remaining here. In stoppage time, 2 nothing lead for the Rhinos. Yeah, this will be certainly one of the bigger wins in a long time for the Rhinos. Locked away out of bounds once again off of Montreal. Another throw in for the Rhinos. Throw in deep to the end line. Taken by Delicott. Turned it down in front. It rolls across the goal mouth as Martinez couldn't get to it. Goal kick for the impact. Jordan placing the ball. Makes the run at it with the right foot. Will drive it out to the midfield line. Smith stepping up. Heads it aside. Tiger after it. Has the ball knocked down. Controlled by the Rhinos. A center ref checks his watch once again. After it, right footed away, downfield by Ball on the right side, deep to the right wing corner, and that one will roll and roll and roll out over the end line. Goal kick for Montreal. A whistle should blow any time now. Roller ahead, a piece of Lido. And there's the whistle, and the Rhinos have done it. The Rhinos have done it here tonight, as they have come up with not only scoring a goal, but scoring two, and have come away with a win. For Rochester... It's the first time they've scored a goal here in Montreal since the year 2000. And the last time that uh, they came up with a win was back in 1998. 1998, a decade since they scored a goal, almost a decade. It would be a decade in September since they won a game here in Montreal. A huge victory here tonight for the Rhinos as they see their first time at Stade Saputo and come away with a victory. Outstanding performance by the Rhinos. Final score from Montreal. Rochester Rhinos, two. Montreal Impact, nothing. This is the Rhinos Broadcast Network.